Well, here we are once again, gathered around the Christmas table for Cast Ranger dinner. What? That's, that's all I got. It's end of January. It, it, it's January. It's my birthday. We're closer to Happy Chinese birthday, New Year. <laughs> <laughs> well, this year the dragon. Which reminds me, Lane, we gotta go find those Dragon Balls. It's Gar, it's Gar's, it's Gar's birthday, it's the death of uh, Shotaro Ishinomori. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's... Never we're gonna let that down, are we? Nope! <laughs> well, <laughs> Your birthday of... is the same... Well, you were born a year after Ishinomori's death. <laughs> well, instead of dragging out this awful bit, cue the roll call! <gasps> Woo! Connect loading. Broadcast. Perfect. Show running super savant. Level up. Bluecaster super Ichi. Loud and online. Greycaster Robolane. Researcher of the Tokuverse. Ultracaster Gar. Trauma inducer. Northcaster Saga. Casting, criticism, comedy, chaos! Radio Sentai Cast Ranger! On air! Log on Listen, to not... fucking goddamn it, Gar. <laughs> <laughs> We're keeping it in! Welcome to Radio Sentai Cast Ranger, episode 470. It's episode Leafeon. Oh, it's uh, Kelly, it's uh, Kelly's favorite Pokemon. She loves Leafeon. Listen, I'm not, listen, I'm not saying that I'm, I, I'm not Shotaro Ishinomori, but, but I might be. You're Gar Taro Ishinomori. It's entirely possible. Shogaro, that's what I meant to say. <laughs> Leafeon's fun. Leafeon is mid. Glaceon is my favorite. Leafeon. Because, heaven forbid, we couldn't think of a better name for a grass-type Eevee. Yeah. I like Glaceon and Sylveon. Grassion wouldn't be a good either. Is, is Leafeon the uh, Japanese name? Let me look that up. Well, well, there aren't their names stuff like just Freeze and uh, Lightning and shit? Leafeon's Japanese name is Leafia. Oh yeah, because all their, their naming schemes are different in Japan. <laughs> Vaporeon is Showers. Jolteon is Showers? Thund thunders. What? what? Flareon is Booster, way to break the streak. Oh, 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 oh yeah, freaking Jolteon's is Thunders. Yeah. But Zapdos' Japanese name is just Thunder. Uh, Espeon is Aphy. Umbreon is Blacky. Oh. <laughs> Blacky, no! Oh, no! Glaceon is Glacia. Oh, no. And Sylveon is Nymphia. Uh, wow, oh, wow. Well. Nymphia! But it, no, no, nymphs are fairies, that, that's a thing. So Zapdos you, is Jack Thunder and Jolteon is Thunders. Oh, <laughs> so <dang>. fucked up. <laughs> so if you have a if you have a if you do a double battle and you summon a Zapdos and a and a Jolteon, is it Thunder Thunders? Thunder, Thunder, yes! Thundercat. That's exactly what's going on. Wait, wait, Jolteon's is a Thundercat. Yeah. Aren't they dogs? Or aren't they like? I think they're like they foxes. foxes. Which are? Yeah, they're foxes. <laughs> well, they're canines. Yeah. Anyway, uh, welcome everyone. We're, we're a group of Eevees. We're a bunch of Evolutions who get together every week to talk about Kamen no, Rider, Super Sentai, and a third thing. What's your Evolution? I'm the Steel type. I'm the Steel type Evolution that doesn't exist. I'm the Gold. And never will. <laughs> Steelion. I would, would Steelion. Don't. Or, 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 or would the Japanese name be Steely? Ste it would be Steely. It would be Steely. It would be Steely. It's been eleven. It's been eleven Steely years Dan. since the last new evolution Pokemon Company. Fucking get your shit together. Oh, yeah. Gen ten. Let's fucking Eevee. go. You got like how many other elements to work with? Yeah. Where's my Ghost type Eevee? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ghosty. Well, this week. Happy. This week we're talking Nappy. about. <laughs> Shut up. The bit's done. <laughs> this week we're talking about Gotchard episode 19, King Oger episode 45, and our feature topic is the final two episodes, 7 and 8, of The High School Heroes. That was a lot what of high school is. heroes to watch last night, woof. Yeah, well, un unlike me, where I watched literally everything rapid fire immediately right before we started recording this. Yeah, I, I don't Give have that... Edge, that, baby. that I don't have that leisure, unfortunately. I've been watching Toku for the past three hours. Uh, no. Uh, I, I, fi <laughs> I, I finished. I finally did it, guys, though. 
I finally watched all of your troopers. Jesus Christ. Oh, good. It only took, took me 28 years. <laughs> took me eight, eight and a half years. 28 years, Gar! It's so funny. <laughs> it's You've been watching sick. a show about virtual reality, and I spent this last week playing games in virtual reality. It, Speaking, it, it's it's I, funny. I this relates, it relates back to Pokemon, because most of what I've been playing is a fan-made VR MMO version of Pokemon Gens 1 and 2. A, a Power World? No. Fuck Power World. I'm not starting <laughs> that discussion. <laughs> Okay. No, fuck that game. It's called Poke Quest VR. It's literally Pokemon Gen One and Two in VR online. It's pretty neat. It's a little, okay, uh, I kind of want to try that. But... Well, you can try it when you come here. Unfortunately, okay, you will cool. either have to play as one of Cell or Paul's characters or delete them. Do I have? That's fine. Yeah, you, you play the game. Wasn't it like years ago? Mm hmm. Well, I guess I know which character we're deleting. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, but but basically, okay. I watched all of VR troopers. They set up a finale, and it's no payoff. It felt it felt like they were planning a third season, and then they realized we're out of footage. What do you mean we're out? We're, we're out. There's nothing left. Well, that, like, they didn't have the budget to pull as you too. Well, that's what I was going to ask. Maybe they like were planning on literally pulling a Power Rangers, but earlier, where like they were going to take footage from another show and say these are your new like suits. That, like they yeah, could like have that, made their own footage in thinking. virtual reality. Mm -hmm. Like, but then I guess it was like. Here's the thing, though. They did want... The thing, though, is VR Troopers is already a kit bash of several different metal heroes. Why didn't they just pull a late season Power Rangers and just switch their suits? Well, I think what the thing we're not asking is was the show canceled? I think it was just we had enough episodes for syndication. Okay. I can believe so that. I can like... believe that they that the the studios just said, "Eh, fuck it." VR's a fad. Yeah, that's not coming back. You... And it didn't, to no, be fair. It didn't for a while. Uh, they couldn't just take B-Fighter for VR Troopers? That's what I'm thinking. Because it's a, it's weird. VR Troopers ended in, 90, in 96, and we got and we got Beetleborgs in 96 as well, well I believe. I'm 97. glad we got the timeline we did then, because I'd much rather have Beetleborgs as it is than have those suits as a new... A d added season of VR Troopers. That would have been interesting. VR Troopers. Maybe it was just. Boards. Maybe uh, it was just I, too different. <laughs> VR Troopers disqualified. <laughs> I, I was this thinking guy. like how like you know obviously the reason we never got those crossovers with like Power Rangers, Master Rider, all that was because the footage just simply didn't exist. But then, the... well, there was actually a crossover between Master Rider and Power Rangers. No, no, no. But I mean, like in like more like VR oh. Troopers and like yeah. what was the other one? Wasn't there another one? Uh, Beetleborgs. Oh, yeah, Beetleborgs. <laughs> the one we were just talking about? My bad. Um, Mystic and... Knights? <laughs> Could you fucking imagine? Duh, Mystic Knights crossover. <laughs> well, supposedly, supposedly Mystic Knights is in the Power Rangers canon, so... Thanks, Hyperforce. Apparently... <laughs> I don't know if I want to accept that, considering it came from Hyperforce, the show where they literally but, but, just make shit up as they go. But, but it came from Paul Schreier himself. You know it's real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The fact that, uh, if it came out of Paul cannon. Schreier's mouth, I'm willing to let him have it. <laughs> He's earned it. Yeah, he was like, it's like, He's earned like, enough credit oh, yeah, in this franchise. He's like, yeah, we were with all these knights, and they were very, like, powerful. He's like, they were... Mystic, like some sort of <gasps> mystical knights. I would have gasped longer, but I ran out of air. <laughs> Imagine that's longer. why I was also thinking just, just take just beyond footage for the third season. Anyways, I'm done talking about VR troopers. I don't want to hear any more talking dogs are apparently Jack Nicholson impressions. In other in other news, if you guys are planning to go see Dune Two in theaters, mm -hmm. make sure not to pick up the popcorn bucket because. <laughs> Yikes. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah, that's not. It's like a sandworm. It's supposed, supposed to be a sandworm. It looks like a sarlacc. <laughs> that's straight up an what? asshole. It is one. That, that's that's a that, asshole with teeth. That is the Greendale logo. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, Villeneuve? How did this have to go through so many layers of approval? Like, go go back to that picture though, because it gets worse the more you look at it. Because like, I don't. That's why I don't want to look at it anymore. You gotta put your mouth on that, like, or at least your arm. <laughs> you know, no, you're putting arm. your hand into there to grab some popcorn. Oh wait, oh I thought it was a drink. 
No, that's a popcorn. No, it's a, a popcorn, popcorn bucket. bucket. I, I didn't read. I was just looking at the picture. <laughs> I was doing trends by the asshole. You know me. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, oh my god! Like, so, let's 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 say what we're all thinking. Someone has absolutely fucked this by now. Yes. Uh, <laughs> my, but I was gonna say like, oh no, like I gotta go buy this. Like, like I know because like <laughs> for science. No, no, I, I'm gonna I'm going to. No, no, I'm buy, going to fuck it. <laughs> I'm going to buy that, go to the IMAX of Dune 2, sit in the front row, and as everyone's walking past me, just deep, like, fists. <laughs> Why would they do that? <laughs> this this had to get greenlit by so many people. Right? The kids are going to buy this. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, someone please think of the children. Oh. No! Now, now I'm all for eating ass, but this is ridiculous. Uh, I hate yeah, this, it. This this, this <laughs> gift's been like associated with it lately. I've been fucking, I've been loving it so much. <laughs> oh, you have some popcorn? <laughs> I don't want it anymore. I don't even know what that's from, but it's funny. Oh, oh diary, diary of a Wimpy Kid too. Oh, oh fuck. what's he looking at? Yeah. I haven't winded myself like that in some time. You know it's a good episode when we're laughing and we haven't even talked about anything. We haven't fucking started oh, yet. I, just, I, had to, I had to bring that to everyone's attention. It's Thank my job. You, <laughs> yeah, I, no I thought that was a drink at first. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, you could no, you probably to, try to drink out of it. Oh, I'll definitely go Now that asshole with teeth. Ah! <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I don't give a fuck. No, 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 Decker, you have to position him so it looks like he's about to stick his finger in the hole. Oh, no. <laughs> I was gonna say, though, this, this image of Rackley's, I think, would go well with uh, that one of um, the Don. What's his name from Don Brothers? Taro? Yeah, the one that Lane is made of him smiling. Oh, like, him doing the shirtless laugh? The cursed image. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know why. I, I, see, I see that picture of Hercules. I just I just hear in my head, wow, that is relatable. <laughs> well, unfortunately, that's going in the thumbnail. Oh, yeah. Yay! <laughs> you, you know what this oh, is, though? There it is! There you go. <laughs> That's the thumbnail! Uh, this poor actor. <laughs> we, we made him up. <laughs> okay, corn Rackley's bucket just the has internet. character of Taylor. I don't want to hear about the corn bucket. Oh, no. <laughs> that, that's what I think people call assholes. Uh, it's, no it's, okay, it's okay. <laughs> Cell will buy it, and he'll bring it over the next time he comes ah! by. You know it. <laughs> I want to see it in person. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, Dune 2, out in theater soon. <laughs> popcorn go down the hole. No, popcorn does not go down the hole! <laughs> go, go see Dune 2, because Christopher Walken's gonna play the emperor of the entire universe. He's gonna be a space so, was walking. he frozen to the... Wait, 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 Christopher Walken's playing Dag Dead? Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wanna see that dub. Yo! <laughs> uh, I, I, don't wanna get, I don't wanna get to a hole of thinking about Dune, so we should... I am Dag Dead. I'm going to destroy GQ. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. I was thinking. I'm Let sorry, I'm thinking of Christopher Lloyd. About the cleaning. Oh, no! Oh, I know what that's <laughs> doing. <laughs> oh, I hate it! Multi! Yeah, hey, appropriate reaction. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. All right, news time! <laughs> News mode. <laughs> yes. News mode. Let's talk about something nice and child friendly, <laughs> like the fact that King Oj is getting a collab with Sanrio, the creators of Hello Kitty. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Look Best. at all our adorable Ogers. <laughs> Let the innocence flow over you. <laughs> Damn, Carapy got the shaft. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that, which one that, that that's is. Her, that's her sister. That's her sister. Right? I have to show this to Yellow a friend Moon? of mine. I have to show this to a friend of mine because she loves Hello Kitty. It's like her favorite like series, so she might actually think this is pretty cute. Oh. Yeah, poor poor Carapy. There's no green green rangers. Where's the, where's so the, the frog? Can't be 
Penis. Uh, Okiroro? I don't, know I don't see them. No, it's Car it's Carapy, isn't it? Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Carapy's the yeah. frog. Yeah, where is he? He's not here. He's not there because there's no green right ranger. Right yeah. Well, yet. Oh, but look, Rita, Rita, Rita had to bring fucking Mofoon with them. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so the official Super Sentai Friends website announced King Orange will get a special collab with Sanrio characters. Features various Sanrio characters dressed up as both the King Oger and their respective aides. Oh, I didn't notice. They're the fucking Sanrio characters are dressed up like the retainers. Oh, yeah. Shukara, oh. Sebastian, Duga, Morphonia, oh, yeah, that one, like, it's Kuroda. Cool. And so below, they're like just <clears throat> in their costume? Below, they're dressed up oh, as the King Ogers in their civilian outfits. That's fun. That's, that's, that's adorable. That's cute. Uh, let's see. Uh, collaboration will feature approximately 70 items, all of which will be available at the King Ogre pop-up shop event in four locations in Japan. And they're already sold out. Just... No shit. <laughs> pop-up store hasn't even come out yet. They're already sold out. It's uh, Hello Kitty with Gira, Hangyodan with Yanma, My Melody with Himeno, Kuromi with Rita, Batsmaru with Kaguragi, and Cinema Roll with Jeremy. Uh, the website also teased some sick designs. I, I read the name Cinema Roll and my brain went to Skinamarinky Dinky Dink, Skinamarinky Do. I love you. Okay, anyway. Uh, so, yeah, there's a bunch of locations in Japan, none of which matter to us because we don't live there. Uh, but we should talk about it anyway. No. Yeah. I like how they talk specifically in this, in this, though, that they mentioned that it's on the 13th floor. Oh yeah, this is, they're giving you directions. Don't they not include the thirteenth floor because it's unlucky? I think that's only uh, in the west. And, oh okay. Don't no, uh, don't Eastern, click on it, but just mm, that's it. don't click don't click don't click on this like to watch it. But like, if you ever want like a huge piece of nostalgia of your childhood, I remember. I remember. Yeah, that's the that's the the fucking English dub opening the carapy. That shit was stuck in my head for. Years in Osaka, that's a weird way to spell Ontario. Care, 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 having fun. All right, anyway, that's adorable. Meanwhile, in King, yep. oh, look, what's this? A another King Oger collaboration of some sort? Oh, oh my, no! okay. Oh, so we're officially fucking getting it, everyone. We're getting King Oger with Don Brothers. <laughs> This is gonna be e so e goddamn Ichi. funny. Ichi, if it makes you feel better, it's only 25 minutes. Okay! <laughs> yeah, yeah, instead of doing a full feature length movie, we're getting two 25 minute specials. So, this yes. It's gonna be so funny. We're getting King Oger versus Don Brothers, but also, even though we already had this crossover, King Oger versus Kyoryuger. But, but, Again. but, Ichi, this time. We actually are getting Daigo. King. Yeah. Ryo Ryusei is are apparently back. Here. And maybe the fucking other Kyoryujers? Let's get the full team yeah, in this. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, that, like, that's like that's the big selling point. They're all gonna be there. Oh, excellent. We're just, Good. We're just gonna see Gira do his evil laugh and Taro do his laugh and it's gonna be so beautiful. Oh god, an evil laugh off. Oh, oh, no. It's gonna be so oh, okay. it, good. It, I'm so it excited. Was... It was sort of funny when they see all the care all the Don Brother characters line up. I'm like, hey, where's Sonui? Alright, he's dead. <laughs> Spe <laughs> speaking, speaking of, there was a preview picture put out. Someone can probably share the screenshot. Uh apparently the reason they meet up is because the King Ogers go back to Hakavaka, the land of the dead, and all of the Don Brothers are there, which means they died. <laughs> so now that makes you happy. <laughs> so now I'm happy about it. <laughs> Don, the, Don, the, Don, the Don brothers died so that King Oger could live. <laughs> no, no, man. The, the Don brothers are dead because they they live in the like the seventh level of hell. And what's what, what the I'm fuck is there's the screenshot. What I'm the most interested in is the fact that I don't think Inoue is anywhere in sight of this project because the film is being written by King Oger writer Minato Takano and directed by veteran Sentai director Hiroyuki Kato. Oh. Oh yeah, usually with these crossover movies they they rarely get the previous show's writer, which we which it which probably explains why the crossovers never feel right. 
Yeah. Oh yeah, like the Kira Matrix and Kaiju Our movie. Discord that was fans are suggesting the reason the Don brothers go to Hakavaka is to find Sonui. I like that idea. <clears throat> it's possible. Hi, we're here to get our dead friend back. Anyways, I don't care what this is. I'm just happy to a get the Don brothers back, and I I might <clears throat> actually want to watch this with Ichi in person. Yeah. The question <laughs> is, I think I have to. If this is a crossover movie, are we gonna get a full roll call with both teams? That'd be funny. Thank you, Decker, for just posting. I was just about to post it. Imagine you got the stock henshins in the Don Brothers crossover. <laughs> as long as they do them right, I would happily accept. All right. <laughs> the last time well. King Oja crossed over with the Sentai, we got their first proper roll call. So. I, I, it's it's within possibility to hope. I never know. Fuck, man. And yeah, the actor so... who plays actual Kyori Red, I believe Ryo Ryusei is his name, or something to that. Uh, yeah, posted that Ryusei. image, uh, confirming that he's gonna be in this. Yes. This, uh, the other crossover special, uh, King Oja versus Kyori Uger. Badass. <clears throat> the film will be written by Kaori Kaneko, who wrote the Kyori Uger crossover episodes. And directed by Kyoryuger's main director, our old friend Koichi Sakamoto. I'm actually happy to hear that name for once in a while. Uh, I don't yeah. know why. Yeah, Ryo Ryusei, that is his name. He's listed here. Yeah, so he's there. Uh, Kyoryu Black, Blue, Green, Pink, and Gold are all listed to return. But I want the outer senshi. That's a Sailor Moon they'll, joke. They'll come back as vo- they'll, they'll come back as voiceovers. Or maybe they'll show up as high-tech freaking students at high school. <laughs> Perhaps. More on that later. <clears throat> but uh, uh, to coincide that, but... with these two crossover films, we have the announcement of two what I assume will be power-up items in these films. Uh, first off is a red recolor of the Oger crown, the Dawn Oger well, crown. That actually looks kind of fun. Well... Well, wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. I have to stop for one second. Look what Vegas just posted. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's good. Mass Effect <laughs> characters as 2017 oh, yeah. Power Rangers. Look at, the, look at the Krogan Ranger. He looks so fucking cool. <laughs> <laughs> I, cool. If people don't know, Mass Effect is like my favorite video game of all time. So, like, I, I love that. Um, Ichi... <clears throat> I feel like I'm obligated to get you this crown. <laughs> well, I don't have the lance for it to a, go on. Exactly. <laughs> no, it doesn't matter, though. It is, a, it is a physical manifestation combining a thing you love and a thing you hate. So it's got you there. The dichotomy like of as life. Your, as your best friend, I think I have to get you this. I mean, I was saying, it legit looks cool. Now, like, now, it does look cool. The, the immediate question upon... F- seeing this thing in existence is what kind of kit bash disaster super form are we about to get <laughs> oh, oh it's no. just, it, you know it's just gonna be it's just gonna be like don momotaro wearing like gira's well here's the thing your armor. it's it's a cr- it's the crown which means it goes on the lance which means it's a power up for kuwagata ojer which means people i think the most common theory that people are doing is the goldon Momotaro armor on Kuwagata Ojer. Probably recolored mm. red. Just yeah. destroy that suit more. So instead of King Kuwagata Ojer, we'll get Don Kuwagata Ojer. Oh. <laughs> and what's the other item? And the other item for the Kyoryuger crossover is a reskin of Jeremy's Venomix shooter, the Gaburi Mix shooter. That also looks cool. That looks like that looks like the Gabu revolver off of Wish. Yeah, this is like the yeah. Gobble Revolver you find in a dollar store. <laughs> I want I the Gobble like, Revolver. We have the Gobble Revolver at home. <laughs> I will Gobble say, it, it's cute that they took a Judenshi and made that the barrel of the gun. Yeah, I like that it looks like a bee. Why? And yeah, the, the, the canister with the stripes mimicking the part that you spin on the Gobble Revolver. Mm-hmm. That's a clever touch. Yeah. I mean, both of these are, like, honestly, I would say good amalgamations of both, like, yeah. both series in a way, so, you know. They, 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 it's not clashy. Yeah. Me. Yeah, like, like it looks like they actually put time and effort like, into like making these, the, like, kit bashes. Yeah, and, like, go back to the crown. I, I legitimately like the peach symbol in the middle of the crown. That actually fits for this, to me. 
Yeah. It's like a symbol. It's the peach, it's the yeah. sunglasses, and it's the gears. All That's the Don Brothers yeah. emblem. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, I, I think I have to get Ichi this crown. <sighs> you, you can put it, put it up next it to your boot. Don Blaster. <laughs> Oh, I'm, like, I'm fucking stoked, dude. Keeping I'm in so mind stoked. how many different sounds the actual Odra crown has, how many fucking things will this have? Because, hmm. like, oh, it's the original oh, it's Odra. Gonna the, it's gonna have the Dawn Blaster voice. It, oh, it probably will. No, oh, no. <laughs> Dawn Odra crown or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, when's this coming out? Uh, let's see. Both films are set for a limited theatrical run April 26th, and the films will be available Blu-ray and DVD October 9th. Whoa. Wow. Nice. Whoa, that's we're crazy. Gonna be almost, we're gonna be almost done, boom, like halfway done, boom, boom, here by the time this fucking comes well, out. You, 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 gotta keep, you gotta keep in mind, you gotta, you know, uh, supply and demand of the DX weapons. Yeah, well, yeah. I demand they supply. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but you know this could be fun. Like, I'll, like I'll say this. Like, I've, even from my limited uh, viewing of Don Brothers, uh, Taro. Like, what's the actor's name? Uh, I don't remember Taro's actor. But, but name. Taro himself, I, I I love how his actor plays him. Honestly, like, yeah. yeah, I think he'll fit right in with King Oger craziness. You know? Yeah. Uh, his actor's name is Kohei Higuchi. Like he's doing. Like this guy's doing something with this role. Like he like. My feelings on the show aside, I think he's genuinely oh, tapped into something. You no, know, you know what I think would be perfect for Cell for like a Don Brothers thing. Mm-hmm. You should we should show him the Don Brothers summer movie, like when they like they make the film. Oh yeah, I yeah, think yeah. He would love that. I, I, think, <laughs> I think Cell, you get a huge kick out of that. We were talking earlier while we were watching stuff about uh, he. We mentioned Cell mentioned that he hadn't seen the King Oger episode with the Rita's Idol episode. So he was like, all right, one day we need to watch that episode and then the Don Brothers sandwich episode. We'll watch the best and the worst. <laughs> yeah, that, that realization where where I realized that she hated the Rita Idol episode so much was because it was like Don Brothers level writing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but just, yeah. Uh, <laughs> they didn't yeah, want to sneak back in the- here. <laughs> Right, go ahead. How the mighty has oh just how the mighty have fallen with the V with the uh, crossover movies so yeah you can't even call these movies you have to call them crossover specials now because again they're not even feature length anymore yeah. remember when these movies used to be like an hour hour and a half in last like, one we got uh Zoo Ojo versus Nin Ninja. Oh no, that one was <laughs> awful. You know the one where Maybe that's why they got downsized. Where, Look at you the know, butt writing! Where he wrote you know, his butt! <laughs> you know, the crossover where when I was editing the episode, I wrote fail and shame over the photo. Oh yeah! And Takaharu, Takaharu became a father. That was that was an eye-opener. Yeah, that was when Toei was like, okay, your budget's getting cut. <laughs> Uh, you get V cinema movies now. They're still movies, but no big theatrical run. And now it's gotten to okay. You get twenty five minutes. Go. <laughs> I'm looking at the poster for the two movies, and in the king in the King Ojo Kyoryuja one, there's a bunch of like years flying around in the background, and not just the ten years between the two shows. So I'm wondering if time travel is going to be a thing in this one. Time for time force. Well, I mean, Kyori- Kyoryuja did give us a hundred years later. Yeah. <gasps> Can we see Ubi so maybe again? We'll see, maybe we'll see the curators of of the past again. You know, like cure your navy. Oh, oh, oh no, good. no, that that's how you get Torin. You go back in time. Ooh. Ooh. Or maybe that's how they get a boss villain to come in. Maybe from the past, because they're all extinct. Hey, boss. Oh. They end up in another timeline. Who's that? Dino Charger. Ready? Wait, oh, wrong timeline. <laughs> little did oh, we baby, know. This is how... Little did we know that image on Rio Ryusei's Instagram Decker. wasn't him. It was Tyler. <laughs> Never do not fucking give me hope with that. 
I would I would kill for that so goddamn much. <laughs> I think it was Lane or someone was saying maybe this will be the movie where they finally explain the <laughs> Don God. No, he's not anything. <laughs> they they put him in because they were gonna write something with him, and then they just decided, ah, fuck it. Yeah, he's just he's just there because he's there. <laughs> So much of Don Brothers, Japan. so much of Don Brothers has no explanation beyond we had a plan and then decided fuck it. Well, it's better than Zenkaiger. Oh, we threw it in because we liked it. What was planned? Nothing. Zen Absolutely nothing. Zenkaiser, the ADHD of Sentai. <laughs> hey man, it's the best looking suit in Sentai I've ever seen. You know what, this will be a great crossover if they somehow introduce the Curage of Brave members in this crossover. That would be hilarious. Just, like, 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 you don't need to get the actors back, just have them in the, the background suits. somewhere. Just be like, who are they? Oh no. I like the white stripe, though. <laughs> Alright, well, speaking what? of interesting upcoming uh, <laughs> crossover projects or something, so a while back we recently heard about something called Ride Commons. And apparently they gave us a little bit more of a hint, and apparently it is an anime thing of some kind. All I thought it was just going to be like a mobile game. <laughs> the only hint, it, it literally says, the only hint we have is that it's Kamen Rider and anime related. We will have more details mm. at an upcoming event on March 23rd. At the please, blue stage. Ooh. Please. Please just let it be Kamen Rider Spirits. I was about to say, what if it's Kamen Rider Spirits? Well, I feel like I if just, it was, they would have just called it that. This has to be something no, brand new. No. Oh no! Oh no! Yeah. yeah. This is like I could see it like, being something new. This is like a like a makeshift makeup title, like uh, when like Star Wars was filming, they called it Blue Harvest. Yeah, but they they never so. promote that publicly. Like upcoming project, Blue Harvest. Did they? Yeah, usually not. Like that's just like an internal no. filming well, name. Okay, like, I, I also feel like this is definitely like just meant to be a, a bit of a a play, right? Because it's Ride Commons. This it feels like this is like a a new reboot kind of brand thing they're doing, where it's like, sure, original Kamen Rider is happening as it as it happens, but on the side they have mm. this new brand that's trying to like reboot the franchise in a slightly different mm. direction that runs maybe, parallel maybe to the main franchise. Maybe something technology related because of the lightning bolt and the how the logo's glitching out. I was gonna say I like maybe the logo. Like, yeah. <laughs> maybe maybe they were like, okay, Gridman. <laughs> how can we copy that? Digital digital ultra or common writer. I almost said ultra. A common writer of the internet. <laughs> you know what this feels like, Ichi? This logo? Yeah. This feels like something you would see in Sonic. I kind of got that vibe, yeah. Like, just the way it's, like, the logo is, I don't know. I feel like <laughs> the fact that they're calling it Ride Commons makes me feel like there will be more of an emphasis on the mask itself Maybe, as yeah. a physical thing. That'd be cool. Cyber Terrace. <laughs> <laughs> it's a DLC I for just... Payday 3. <laughs> okay, just hear, hear me out on this, folks. Hear me out. What if it's just, like, Inu Brother, but a rider? <laughs> 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 I would love that. I'd eat that up so much. I, I, I would laugh and cry if it was an adaptation of that shitty Zero One comic that we got. Oh, again, uh, if it was something no. that was series specific, they'd be using it in the title. This feels like a new brand. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, if it's maybe that's what you're right. Each maybe they're gonna do anime and live action at the same time. Degree. Well, there like, he is. Rider the, on that. the guess that I'm <laughs> going to put down is this is an actual anime series and it's going to be an original story and they won't call themselves common writers. Mm -hmm. I'll say this: with there being an S at the end, I feel like there this is there will be multiple. This is all that I'm going to throw in. Yeah, there will be multiple writers. Well, yeah, and one of them will be the fan service character. Multiple commons. Come on, guys. <laughs> Where's my common writer spirits adaptation, dude? No, it's like in your spirit. Oh, oh yeah, you guys hear about Futo PI finally, like slowly coming to an end. Cool. Not the anime, the manga. Oh, let's get yeah, more of the I anime now. Home. Well, yeah, we want a season two of the anime, please. No, we don't. You do. I, I want to see Fat Metal and Fang Trigger. Yeah, that too. You get a movie. <laughs> Sure, whatever, whatever it takes. I don't care. How about this? You get a live action adaptation of Futopia. 
More onions, please. <laughs> More onions. All right. Well, think. Speaking about things that stink, potentially, at least in my opinion. Hey. I'm joking. Hey. So Boom Boom just put out another promo that everyone is just straight up calling. Hey, look, it's Persona Five. <laughs> It is, yeah. Oh, wait, but this is, no, apparently that's fake. Or no, 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 that one's not. Oh fake. no, this this one was put out on their official channels. Oh no, no, you talk about the one on the Discord. Oh, I don't yeah, know about that one. Uh, th this is fun. I, I like the black and color like uh, contrast. The orange one's hubcap face looks like a fucking Gatling gun. <laughs> kind of fun. What's it's interesting to like note is, if, if the one in the Discord channel is correct, that means the orange one is the only one that has black colored meters on their suit. Can I see that picture, please? One. Everyone else has white meters, boom, boom, but that one's got black. Oh. I like it. You got the red ranger, the blue ranger, the okay. pink ranger, the orange ranger, and the white ranger. I was going to say, my first thought looking at this image is sixth ranger poking their head out the w from outside the window. <laughs> <laughs> that's the that's the, the Zordon like <laughs> a lot of people just think it's like the emblem of the team and our, another thought was like oh it's the Megazord that could be it my immediate thought was secret 6th ranger perhaps I need, a I need a trailer for this god damn it we're getting it just don't worry it's coming boom <laughs> yeah it's coming boom I love that the boon boom juice I love that boom name boom juice Boom, 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 boom. I, I think like they're definitely going like between that poster we saw and this I feel like they're actively going for like a 60s race car vibe you know speed racer if we if we get yeah if we get like 2008 speed racer level of fucking shenanigans I'm I'm all for it's it super <laughs> sentai acceleracers <laughs> which my brother would be absolutely into <laughs> It's gonna be hard to surpass the Goandra theme for best like car theme. Bro. Here we come. Love, Here it comes. Boom boom. I would, I would love to talk about the Speed Racer movie on Cast Ranger. It'd be so fun. That should be episode a... five hundred. Speed Racer. <laughs> that no, that was, is a masterpiece. That should be our it's one of Wachowski's topic. best works. That should be our topic when we talk about an important Boom Boom Jer episode. <laughs> Just the pair with it. Down. Literally, put it on the schedule. I'll t I want to talk about the Speed Racer movie. <laughs> it's Aaron's favorite movie. That tracks. It's <laughs> fantastic. It's phenomenal. John Goodman's in it as Pop. Pops. He's fucking good. Great time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a thing. Next. Uh, <laughs> to celebrate the 20th anniversary of Kamen Rider Blade, in particular, this past week, we celebrated the 20th episode of the ep the debut episode that birthed a very famous meme. Uh, the Premium Bandai announced the complete selection modification Chalice Rouser and Chalice Arrow. Hey, Chalice. Good stuff. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we're getting both the Morpher and the Weapon, which is very cool. Uh, mm, such an iconic picture. <laughs> You can also purchase the Chalice Rouser by its own without the Chalice Arrow. Uh, there's not a lot of other details right now, but they will reveal more in late February. But we also got the 20th anniversary logo, which is very cool. Mask Rider Blade. Blade's 20 years old. God Stairs damn. Stairs <laughs> Listen, he was dying, okay? He was going through a rough time. He's going through a rough time. I hope we get... I hope we get a renewal of the Chalice figure art. Probably. That'd be dope. I mean, I remember the original Blade figure art was actually, like, pretty good. I think it still stands up. Just and then we have the broken helmet one. Fucking <laughs> why? And Garen, broken helmet one. Yeah. <laughs> All right, next on the news, uh, Shoto Super revealed that they're putting out figures of the Neji Rangers, a.k.a. the Psycho Rangers from In Space. Fucking uh, why? Because why not? Because they're cool designs, and they even include the silver one. I, I love that they paired up silver with blue against Neji blue. Because they <laughs> didn't do it, the cowards. No silver one. Now, now what you gotta do is you gotta really you, you gotta get a bunch of the Mega Ranger sets and make five blues. Hold on, get five blues. And I didn't notice this before, but they all have white collars except for black that has a gold collar. What's the deal? That's an interesting difference. Oh. Watch this somehow be cheaper than the actual Psycho Ranger set from Hasbro. Be 
Yeah, he does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They I think, look great. I think that's yeah, just like, why... they just look cool. These yeah. things. You know what? Maybe that's why I'm just annoyed by it. The Psycho Rangers have just become the the equivalent of Evil Ranger Team. Go, Psycho like, Rangers! Perfect. I'm scrolling through the pictures of the figures, and they've got like separate pictures of each of the individual yeah, ones, I know what you're talking and about. they're in such perfectly the same pose that I'm like, "You bastards just photoshopped the colors." If you watch the video version of this, you're gonna see it. <laughs> Is oh wait, they do have the silver one. Oh, there you go. He is there. But what that yeah. was a uh, America exclusive, right? Yeah, that was only in. Nope. Uh, fucking... nope. Oh nope. no. We. Nope. That was in Mega Rangers. The, they're act. The idea was in both versions. They're not. There wasn't an actual Silver Ninja oh. Ranger, but it was a disguise by the actual Silver Ranger. Oh, that carried over from the in, Sentai in both versions. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Gar, answer me this question then. Would you rather have? the Psycho Rangers as like the most prominent evil ranger team or these ones <laughs> <laughs> yeah Gar I oh no it's case. the Tattoo <laughs> Team the Age Alien Fighters what it, like, wh whose decision was this can we look at this picture for a second just apparently it, it was meant to be a higher budget thing but they ran out of budget <laughs> clearly <laughs> all the this... money went towards Lord Zed <laughs> okay, well Okay, I can I can appreciate that because Lord Zed's one of the coolest looking things ever. But yeah, this is just this yeah. is awful. This, this, this is like when like you have a birthday party and you want the Power Rangers to be there. <laughs> we have the Power Rangers at home. No, no, you know like I, like you know the parents like they order from the 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 company or whatever. Yeah, and they have these like knockoff Power Ranger suits. <laughs> That's what this Honestly. is. Honestly, if you look at the Psycho Rangers, they look like they would have been like Lord Zed's personal fucking ranger team they do or have something. A similar vibe. It's interesting, yeah. yeah. If you if you look up the names of those rangers, they're so fucking funny. They're like literally like parallel dimension names of the of the season one team. Oh, no. Did you see that picture, by the way? Oh yeah, neat. No, no, the other one. Oh, oh yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, that's cool. So bad. Read in her oh, these Soto figures. Forms. You know, I'm happy the Soto figures are, you know, keep coming. I just feel like, you know, give us at least a few more teams before we start doing like, like variants. All right. Anyways, these <laughs> figures are 100 millimeters tall. Comes with their weapons: the Neji saber, rod, tomahawk, sling, arrow, and blazer. Uh, premium Bandai Web exclusive. Eleven thousand eight eighty yen for all of them. Releasing in June. For six figures and a oh, yeah. bunch and weapons and accessories, that's not bad. Eleven thousand. How much is that in like? That's like one hundred twenty. Zero six out figures. Of 10, not enough hands. <laughs> not enough hands. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, yeah, guys, think about that. For the five Psycho Rangers, you get that from Hasbro. For this much, you get six. Yeah. Buy five, get one free. All right. Oh, they, they look so fucking good. And unfortunately, yep. our last news story is a bit sad. Uh, the, mm -hmm. what, what are you talking about? Godzilla got an Oscar nomination. <laughs> uh, veteran, sh veteran Showa Kamen Rider writer Takashi Edzure has passed away uh, oh. on January 22nd at the age of 82 due to infective endocarditis. Uh, he is... Edzure is best known for his work in Kamen Rider during the Showa era. He wrote 13 episodes of Sky Rider and was the primary writer for Super One and Black RX. Ichi, you skipped over the Godzilla Oscar story. I. Oh, you added something that I didn't see. <laughs> we'll get to that in a second. Yeah, yeah, we'll get to it in a second. RIP to this uh, guy. Yeah, that, it's upsetting. Yeah. 82, though, you know. That's Especially true. since we're. Bud. Your legacy will live on, but arguably most through Black RX, one of the more famous Showa writers. I'm really enjoying Sky Rider. All right, and now to actual <laughs> little happier note. Yeah, a happier yeah. note of, of monster destroying the city. <laughs> so, uh, Godzilla minus one made history. It is the first Godzilla movie to be nominated for an Academy Award. He's just stopping to the city like, yeah, I'm nominated! We did it! 
Uh, they uh, they were nominated for best visual effects, which I, I should fucking hope so for Tokusatsu. Right. <laughs> the genre is predicated on the literal translation of special effects. I mean, this movie did look really, really fucking good. <laughs> look, really fucking good. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, the only downside is that it's going up against Guardians of the Galaxy three. Uh, yeah, the Marvel probably. movie's never gonna fucking win an Oscar. <laughs> Just give it to Godzilla. No. Let's actually uh, say it. that say that quickly. Yeah, the other nominees are uh, the Creator, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three, Mission Impossible: Dead Reckoning Part One. Holy crap, that title! And Napoleon. So I, oh, 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 I they think removed Godzilla's the part one from streaming. Oh yeah, they removed the part one from streaming. Now it's just Mission Impossible: Dead Reckoning. <laughs> uh, like the, the like, I mean, definitely it would have been nice if they got nominated for more because it was one of the better movies of the year. It was uh, yeah. I the, the the slight I feel the most is that it didn't get nominated for best score. I love the music mm. in this movie. Yeah, I'm upset it didn't get like a supporting cast or main cast. Yeah, no, I was really expecting supporting cast at least one. Like, like I, I don't remember her name, but the the actor who played like a like what's her I, the fe- the main female lead. Yeah, yeah, I don't know her name, but yeah. And, and, you know, I mean, it's, it's it's nice that they got nominated. Sarah for... Silverman. <laughs> yes, oh. notable bad take haver, Sarah Silverman. <laughs> <laughs> I just okay, racked so my we... brain like, who's a really problematic female? <laughs> <laughs> Daisy Ridley. Oh no! Hey. But you yeah, leave Ray they... Skywalker alone. <laughs> there was this uh, wonderful little. Uh, it's Ray Palpatine Wing. Uh, there was this wonderful little, like, video where, like, they all, like, you can find it online. I think they mentioned in the chat, too, where, like, the ki- the uh, the crew saw their nomination on, mm-hmm. on the air or on, on, on a live stream or whatever, and they all just started cheering. It was very nice. Yeah. 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 Uh, but, like, they had so confetti and everything. They're, they're cheering it as if this is, like, freaking New Year's. I mean, it's pretty <laughs> cheering as if they won already. Yeah, but, the, like, yeah, I can't imagine they won, <laughs> is the thing. Like, weird if, like, <laughs> And the Oscar goes to Mission Impossible, Dead Reckoning. <laughs> <laughs> like, this being nominated feels like a, a specific move to, like, let's give give Godzilla an Oscar for the first time. Let's legitimize Godzilla films. <laughs> Finally. Uh, like, you know, 70 years. Of, like, name, name any other movie franchise that's gone on for 70 years. Uh, King Kong? <laughs> Almost 100. Wizard of Oz, shit. <laughs> uh, nothing changes, Gar. <laughs> yeah, nothing. Nothing does. I, I just, just give it to, just give it to the Godzilla team. They really deserve it. Well, you'll yeah. find out when the Academy Awards airs March tenth. Literally, if they don't win, I'm turning off the TV and going home. That'll show right. them. Impl- imp- implying I'm not watching this at home. <laughs> I'm not gonna watch the Oscars. I won't burden my family with that. I really, I really though hope I'm just Ken wins best fucking original song. Yeah, I saw how like Ken got a nomination, but like no one else as part of the Barbie crew, like Bar- Margot didn't win, didn't get okay, any Margot nominations. Robbie, in, ter- win, yeah. in terms of acting, I do think uh, uh, like Gosling was the best, but it is weird oh, yeah. that uh, Greta Gerwig didn't get for writing or directing. Yeah. I don't know what the hell's going on. So yeah. Anyways, that's the I news. Want this movie to win. I me too. We're, we almost, all do I, I, We're over forty-five minutes in, and we haven't talked about the episodes yet. Well, let's do it now. Are we saying? Oh, it's just like like I'm not even just saying that because I'm a Godzilla fan. I just really want this movie to win. Yes. No. Me too. This movie was fucking fantastic. <laughs> all right. Got so under ten million, everyone. Got your time. So I thought it was going to be like a throwaway joke that they were calling themselves the Kichin Ichi no Seirengo, but no, they fucking hammer it in in this episode. Okay, can we can we talk about that the funniest shot in this whole episode was what's her face just getting fucking thrown up against a wall? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we killed were, me. We were like, not expecting hell. that. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeeted. So. <laughs> I think my favorite was Hotaro yeeting his horrible meat creation at the dog. <laughs> yeah, this oh, is- I loved 
I love the amalgam in this it episode. It was so fucking weird that like one of the little homunculi dolls just goes, I wish to live, and then turns himself into this fucking gangly ass half naked man wrapped in mummy bandages. <laughs> and then they just feed him chicken. I want to be a real hey. boy. This guy's this guy, whoever's playing this character, he's fucking owning it, dude. Oh yeah, like that, that guy, like like ver- first of all, that felt like a don't hug me, I'm scared joke, just the way he was eating all that chicken, it okay. was so gross. But I'm like, at the same time, I, I see a guy like just head head deep in a plate plate of chicken. Okay. I'm like, been there. <laughs> Let, let, let's let's break down this malgum quickly because yeah. like, I love once again masterful monster design with the yoakerberus malgum. Bring this picture up. The yeah. fucking upside down triple dog heads held oh. up by the chains by the one arm, and then they fucking yeah. separate into separate versions. And I'm like, oh, that's so cool. I like that they all yeah, breathe no. a different type of element. Yeah, triple yeah. element heads. One was fire. One was lightning. What was the other one? Ice, I guess. Maybe. Or gas. Yeah, maybe? probably ice. Those are like the three no, basic pretty... elements in RPGs mostly. <laughs> um I just love at the start of the episode there's talking about what they're going to do and even though they know they should be keeping all of this alchemy shit a secret they're openly talking about it in a public restaurant filling with people. Uh, they they've given <laughs> up on all like incognito <laughs> Listen, no, okay, listen, it's <laughs> Japan. When there's people, like, talking about, like, nerd shit, tokusatsu and stuff, people just kind of just go, uh, okay, like, like, uh, normal people in Japan. So, probably they were talking about alchemy stuff, and people were just like, eh, just People are busy stuffing shit, their craws with breakfast. They don't have time to listen to some nerds. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, um, so, so they summon the Yoa Kerberos Malgum, appar- which apparently, according to Garion, comes with a fucking pan flute that you use to wield it. Fucking because... pan flute! I'm <laughs> just like, where's the instructions? How do I know which notes to play? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, so if I just play them all in a row, that means attack. And, 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 and Ralph Wiggum on the flute. Do, do, do. It's a nice tune there, boy. <laughs> and with a pan full up her nose, Atropos. <laughs> I kind of want to Photoshop Dude, be the Atropos oh, with that flute do. up her nose. <laughs> please cuts do over it. To, cuts over to, uh, the guy, what's the guy? Uh, the guy with the... Garyon? Yeah, like him doing that. That's some good flute in there. That's a good flute in there, Atropos. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Simpsons. Thank you, Simpsons. <laughs> I have to remember the popcorn thing. Uh, yes. <laughs> so, oh, no. The best shot in the episode was when Rene's just staying there panicking while the monster's attacking. And then Atropos just, like, goes up behind her floating from off camera. Uh. You and I, we had the exact same like sound effect as it happened. It's like what you just did. Like, you like it was for me today. It, it was hilarious too because like I like I was looking at okay, how'd they shoot this? And clearly it was just the, the actor, she was standing on a table or something because the, <laughs> the camera gave her a boost. Yeah, the, like the camera cut her off at the knees. Yeah. Like, so it's like I, I'm assuming in universe she's floating. Yeah. Okay. We yeah. just didn't have the budget for that this week. Okay. We're just a weird, creepy little girl. We had to make, like, five separate monster suits. That's true. Actually, yeah, like, I was thinking about that. Like, as he split, I was like, wow, they had to make a, they had to make an individual one for each. They made, like, every combination. Oh, yeah, like... Also, also, guys, if you're gonna make it look like she got her arm turned into gold, <sighs> you could do way better than what you More did. More gold powder! <laughs> like, Ichi, I don't think no, even... for real! Ichi, you didn't even understand that what was going on at first. No, I, I observed that. I just didn't vocalize oh, it. Oh, okay. I thought you were like, wait, what's wrong with her arm? Like, No, I, I noticed that, yeah, she got damaged, and apparently that equates to losing the color of skin to the gold underneath. Well, well I'm assuming what... So that means instead of being gold-plated, she's skin-plated. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it wasn't a great effect, you're right, Lane, but, like, I, I, I'm assuming that was what it was implied to be, was it was actually turned into gold, like, solid gold. Yeah, so, I think they're, like, yeah. made of gold underneath their, like, human skin. Really? I think that's what it's implying. Uh, That'd be interesting, might. actually. That's very alchemy. Yeah. But, yeah, so, yeah, Atropo <sighs> sneaks up behind her and pulls a hirubiru by, like, whispering in her ear. That was creepy. You're gonna die now! <laughs> die Stop her! She's supposed to die! <laughs> 
Uh, but yeah, no, this episode seems to just kind of revolve around like everyone going up to Rene just being like, man, you're just so stuck up with the fucking rules. Why don't you just like take it easy? And she's like, uh, but the rules are everything. And then she decides to make her own rules. And this week she finally learns to emote. I did no, it. I, I will say it was so sweet and wholesome when like Hotaro tells her like, oh no, your father was trying to like stop the shit from happening. So he's not a traitor. And just the look on her face and just the sigh of relief being like, my dad's not a traitor. I was like, aw. I love the dichotomy <laughs> of how important of a revelation that is for Rene's entire worldview, but also yeah. the fact that getting that explained to her was done completely off camera. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My favorite. Yep. And then Hotaro recapped the entire last episode off screen. Oh, oh but yeah, no, Hotaro with like the fucking, the, the, the sweet meat buns, just like, you fucking, she's like, huh, they're odd. And then like, even the, the, the Malgum doesn't fucking like him. And he like, looks like, he looks oh. over Rene, Rita, looks back at him and he's just like, no, <laughs> he's I, so I upset love, about the buns. Everyone's a critic. <laughs> I did love the little look she gave her. She was like, yeah, yeah. Isn't that They're good? not great. Well, it's like meat and cream guy. Come on, that's just not impossible. He, but... Listen, he hasn't found his gotcha yet yeah, in yeah, you know, food. Yeah, he's exactly. going he's to. Trying. You, but, yeah, you but, watch the last episode. Moment. He'll finally come up with something that people like. And, and kind of like, I mean, obviously it's a matter of literal taste, but like I've always been like, you know, the stuff he's making doesn't sound half bad, honestly. Maybe maybe not perfect. Yeah. This is what he's doing instead of actual alchemy. <laughs> yeah, cooking it'll, alchemy. It'll be, it? Yes, it'll be it'll be a it'll That's be a culmination joke. of it'll be a culmination of a grasshopper and a train. <laughs> Best kind of food. He cooked his cards. <laughs> I knew what I had to do. <laughs> I'm picturing uh, so it. Like, also, uh, go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna say, like, also we, as surprise to fucking no one, the the, the fire gotcha, the gotcha igniter has like a limit because <laughs> it can yeah. overheat. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a fun touch. Um, just one not important thing I wanted to quickly make my bit on. So there's this is one part where the mom serves up the food right. called saba miso, and my brain immediately goes, "I want you guys to eat saba." <laughs> <laughs> I laughed God quite a bit the first time he said it because so. <laughs> you had good timing on that. <laughs> I take it where oh, I can man. get him uh, um, I, I still love that Minato's like still evil as fuck I just it, it's so cool he's yeah. so fucking cool as dread I love it <laughs> and I know that we previously joked about like when humans get hypnotized and they just walk off and I and I make the joke leap to our doom this episode came very, very close to being actually that. Like, the, like when he went all like, okay, all the kids do the thing, they all just literally start walking towards a railing. The edge of a bridge. But but, but the best part was they didn't stop. They, they were just walking in yeah, place. So, like, they, like they were video game NPCs with no idea they oh, were walking into I a was, wall. It was Sonic 06 all over the place. <laughs> I wasn't even I wasn't even concentrating on the conversation. I was just watching these people walking in place the whole time. <laughs> yeah, me too, honestly. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You guys mentioned it, but I complete. I was looking away when that scene happened yeah. when Clotho just gets fucking yelled into that wall. So about that. It's like, so funny. Like, yeah, it's we, so we funny. were watching you and me and we're like, holy shit. I, that I, I, I didn't I, fully I, process that happened. I was typing. I feel no because i love it it's like a, it's like a literal like it's him it's like the it's just a shot of like her getting the hit and then a completely new shot of her hitting the wall <laughs> it's so funny this might be terrible but you know that has to be a gift <laughs> Just no, you know what? I feel like we I feel like we need to break our gift rule just this once just to see that it's so funny it's, <laughs> it's so worth the risk funny. Oh, yeah, it's dude. worth the risk. Decker, do it. Make the gift, please. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine because it's the character I care about the least. <laughs> also, I, I, also, I love that Atropos and the other one couldn't bother wearing their fucking uniforms to school. So, yeah, like, they're wow. bad boys. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of funny that they, like, uh, you have a uniform, not you two, though. I mean, yeah. Couldn't afford it this week. Well, I, maybe, maybe they're starting to, maybe Toei was realizing that they, they looked stupid with them on. <laughs> There's that one scene of Kyoka and Spanner at the Odin cart, and like, when, as they first showed it, I'm like, oh god, where's Sonui? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just Sonui's there. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, yeah, so this episode is about Rene trying to get her powers back and then through the, through the compassional uh, the compassion and the emotion of defending her former enemy Atropos, she unlocks the alchemist driver. And I got to say, the standby chime is kind of a jam. As bo- as bo- as above so below. As above so it below. Was pretty as cool. Above. I, I can't I I'm didn't sorry. know what it was saying until I saw the sub. I thought it was just fucking like no, magical no. nonsense. <laughs> no, and I'm sorry, and it's gonna ruin it's gonna ruin it for everyone. But I swear to God, I hear the belt say "prominence whore." <laughs> That's all I hear. It's prominence whore. Prominence, prominence horn. But all right, you hear what you want to no, hear. No, I hear I hear prominence whore. I'm sorry. <laughs> Something you wish to tell us, Lane. <laughs> Well, it's Providence Whore, Button Sword, like, come on. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, I'm yeah, sorry! Providence Horn looks badass. Well, the actual... F- so, this, the power set is Kamen Rider Majade, mm-hmm. and the form is called Jade. Sun Unicorn. Okay. Prominence Horn is just, like, the call-out. Oh, my bad, okay. Still yeah. badass. It's, like, it's the Providence Like, like, like how Guy Orange Arms has Kamen Rider Majade. on stage. Sorry we're talking over each other a lot. Sorry. I was just going to say, it's the prominence whore, Kamen Rider Majid. Yep. But, like, the belt says, as above, so below, and I know that's a reference to the spell they do when they do their alchemy, but my Final Fantasy XIV brain goes, so she's Naldthal from oh. Aglaia. It had, yeah, one she's... Of, she's it, there's a boss in FF14 who had one of its literally, one of its attacks is literally called as above, so below. Uh, okay. I wonder if that's, like, just a saying or something. Maybe and, no, no. and she's our or she's our this, first this could be she's our first FF secondary FF. female ride. Yeah, this is actually a huge historical deal for the Comrade franchise. Our first proper female secondary rider. Badass. Let's hope they don't I mistreat her. her like the other female riders. <laughs> we shall see. Not you up. Valkyrie was very close to this position, and they did her like- kind of dirty. Yeah, at least with at least with Sakura and Revice, they fucking did her right. <laughs> yeah, there have been improvements. But we'll see how this one goes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and we also got... I don't know what the actual name of the form is, but I'm going to call it Apare Skebo's Fire. Or, like, it's the Fire Gotchard form, but with Apare Skebo's instead of Steam Hopper. That's right! I wanted to mention about it. So I saw, like, someone stated a fact about what, like, Gotchard Steam Hopper is, and I thought it was very interesting. So the true form of Gotchard is like the the hopper thing that we see him in. And then when he's transforming into the rider form, that's like him possessing a mannequin or something. Well, yeah, we know there's some sort of alchemy work at play in the Henshin. But like I found out about that and I was like, that's fascinating. I love that. Yeah, because some of them only have wild forms. Yeah, so Hotaro is just the armor over like a shell or something. Yeah. That's so cool. That's badass. It's the most interesting and lore-filled transformation me- mechanism writers had in a while. It's okay. Spanner will have his moment. He's getting there. Our writer Velvarad <laughs> is soon. I'm sure. He's got. He's got the parent episode next week. <laughs> so it's fine. Yeah, I so believe in Spanner. We see Majed use the Sun Cor- Unicorn Nova. So Nova is her finisher as as opposed to Gotchard's Fever, which is interesting. Yep. But yeah, uh, in terms of design, the Majed suit is just as amazing and great in action as it was from the scans. I, I like it a lot. Yep. I really she can the, heal, uh, yeah. Unicorn head on the, on the helm. That's, that's she's the, cl- well she's the cleric! Yeah. <laughs> she's the cleric. Um, yeah, so she heals Atropos. So I'm wondering if this is potentially the start of Atropos switching sides. Ooh. I could definitely see that. I wonder if all the sisters will end up switching over. I don't know. Let's see. I don't like Clotho's chances after getting Yot into the wall this episode. <laughs> Maybe that's why she's gonna leave. Oh, yeah. like, I gotta find people who treat me right. <laughs> I loved her. I loved her talking to Spanner. Like, all right, get your hands on those two belts. Go steal those belts. Oh, he's gone. But the, you're already programming the Valvarad driver. It's already there. What do you need? Okay. Uh, <laughs> the the joke Seven's making. Uh, that would actually be a badass name for a common rider. Common rider Atropos. While, yeah. yes, objectively badass, that would unfortunately put it under the category of riders whose power sets are just their own names, which I fucking hate. 
fair. <laughs> Unless it turned Unless out Atropos not... wasn't her real name. Well, maybe she's just the literal. Uh, like we fate. go with we go with an Aguilera her situation. Name, her, her name's Becky. <laughs> <laughs> Becky Aguilera. Be- Long Becky lost Atropos. Sisters. Becky Atropos. Becky Atropos. <laughs> Here you go. It's her last name. Uh, Becky Atropos. <laughs> at, le- at least, <laughs> at least, Valvarad isn't Comrade Spanner. That would have pissed you off so much. Each. Yeah. Although, uh, I, I don't know. My feelings on Common Rider Valvarad are still kind of up in the air. But uh, yeah, according <laughs> to the ending of that episode, now they're actually going to raid the academy. Unlike the joke at the start of the episode. So we'll see how that goes. And I just love Minato going, I'm coming for that ring, and then immediately turns and leaves. <laughs> well, yeah, like, he's like, I'll give you this, I'll give you this, yeah, it's like, I'll give you this one. You had moment. your episode, I won't ruin it for you. You had a character yeah. moment. <laughs> there you go. Uh, yeah, so next week we're going to get some more backstory on Spanner. Uh, we get to meet his parents, who I guess died ten years ago. And uh, we were talking in our, our, our Cast Ranger chat earlier Apparently, someone posited on Twitter that Spanner's dad was was named Wrench. And yeah, and Emily was like thoroughly believing that. We, th- we thought that was true, and like it seems possible, it could be. Good. We don't know that he isn't. But that was just someone's theory on Twitter, and uh, I would laugh so hard if it if his dad's name was Wrench. What kind of cruel person would name their child Wrench? <laughs> the same but one that names their child wrench. Spanner. Mm. Celestino. Hannah. <laughs> wow, way to dox yourself. <laughs> Got me. <laughs> That'll teach me. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. Pretty decent episode. I'm excited that Majade is finally a thing. Even though her debut is kind of underplayed by the fact that it happened in the movie first. Yeah. Well, yeah. A little unorthodox, but whatever. We got there. Yeah, they're teaming up. Look at that. Yeah. We finally have two good writers in the show. And I just mean like good versus bad, not good versus terrible. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I'm talking like yeah. alignment, not quality. Alignment, not quality, yeah. exactly. <laughs> yeah. Two two heroic writers is what I mean. There you go. <laughs> we got there. All right. Lane, take us in. Uh okay, Bazo. How oh. does this show oh. keep getting away with being amazing and heart and heartwarming and beautiful every fucking week? And still bad. You, you gotta post that. You gotta show that reaction picture, the one of Mac. <laughs> you know, I, while you get that, a point I was gonna make about this whole thing is King Oger has been so good with this is kind of a filler episode, but. They still put in important shit. They answered questions yeah. that I've had from single-digit episodes of the show. Questions this, they didn't even episode. need to answer, too. And they did. Yeah. Uh, so basically, it epi- we open with another brushing under the rug bit of, oh yeah, we now that one of the symbols of power is unlocked, we can use them all. Oh, it's fine, yeah. <laughs> I, I also didn't... I also, they make a mention that I didn't realize before that... All of their, their their powers are based off things that would destroy their kingdoms. That's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> I like and that. I was c- kind of half joking about... I'm sure at some point it, over the course of the show, I mentioned how even though their powers were never really elementally themed for the most part, you could kind of attribute elements to them. Like Rita's Ice... I, I put fire to Kagaragi because whenever he does his Ogre finish, you see the bees on his sword light up with fire. And mm-hmm. then Yanma, I assumed, was lightning because, you know, technology. Mm-hmm. And as we've seen in this episode and the previous episode, that's kind of exactly on point. So what's uh, Gira's yeah. power going to be? Is it going to be hard? <laughs> I'm thinking either steel or steam, wind... Some one of those two. Uh, no, judging from the, no, judging this, it's literally yelling for fucking Kua, Sound. Uh, the Kua, yeah, like yelling for Kuakata and then just having him almost fucking destroy Shigatam. <laughs> yeah, 
And the fact that the red isn't uh, fire, I mean, we're, we're cooking with uh, something different altogether. Oh, yeah. Okay. This, we're, we're going out of the box that for was, these ones. That was... Okay, so that's the, like, it was funny as shit. But like, come on! They they show him like standing like behind like in like fire in front of him. But then when he's actually like on fire when he's collapsing, like they actually put like fire effects on him. So I'm like, why didn't you just do that the whole time? Yeah, that's, that was kind of weird. <laughs> Whatever, we got we got funny. the effect that was well, putting out there. Uh, like I thought it was kind of funny because of the, like like. I'm like, dude, this guy is engulfed in flame right now. He, he'd be like a, 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 a like a third degree burn victim in real life. And I thought they were gonna just like wave it away. No, no, they they do a joke with it. They turn him into one of oh. those fucking ogres from Japanese mythology. I don't know if they have a specific name. Uh, wasn't it Oni? Or- it might be Oni. But yeah, he he burns <laughs> himself with his own firepower so fucking bad that his skin turns red and his hair afros out. Like, wait, wait, like this is all I could think of. Wait. <laughs> 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 oh, yay! It's, so <laughs> it's Kagaragi. <laughs> and then, uh, it, like again, they they went with uh, Kagaragi Gilmore. <laughs> then they they went with the joke, which yeah, like you're saying, he's got the big like fuzzed out afro and yeah. The, all he was missing was the horn sticking out of the hair. Kind of in red face. Uh, yeah. Now, now I just want to see, like, Gira as Happy Gilmore. Like, Happy Gira? Fucking, <laughs> no, like, talking about, like, doing, like, the explanation with the puppy. And then just having, like, Yanma just being the guy being like, what you just said is probably the dumbest thing I've ever heard. And we we're all stupid for hearing it. <laughs> I hope you I die, worked. and may God have mercy on your soul. That sounds like something you don't know what Lane, say. that was from sounds... Happy Madison, not Happy Gilmore. <laughs> or Bill Madison, whatever. Wrong Happy. You said Happy Madison, <laughs> Gar, which is also wrong. <laughs> no, Happy Madison, Happy Madison is the name of uh, Adam production Sandler's company. production company. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, yeah, I meant We're Bill all Madison. wrong. Moving on. Same character, same universe. So... I'm sure I, I, I've said this a lot, I'm sure I said this at some point in the first ten episodes of King Oger, but I suspected all along that Morphonia had something going on that we were not privy to, and this episode we finally addressed it. It turns out that Morphonia was born in jail to criminal parents. And I'm Javert. I mean, it's not, that's not that weird, because, you know... Gokhan's a giant prison. Yeah, no, I mean, it's not no, weird, but, but it's it not that it's, we- it's not that it's weird, it's that that's the explanation for why she's a slacker, why she is so good with picking Rita's door locks. Oh, because she's a criminal. <laughs> uh, so, like, okay, Josh, I was like, saying... That- Sorry, go ahead, Oh no! I was just gonna say, like, it, 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 in ten years prior, apparently she was like a real bitch. So, <laughs> I was gonna say that, like, I, I thought I, th- I mentioned before how Rita, I think, should have been like the daughter of the last, uh, like, a uh, last sovereign. Yeah. And I think this just makes me think. I think Morphina should have been her younger sister, because I think that would add a little bit more. Like, yeah, it's the whole being born of of criminals thing is interesting. But the idea is like she's the younger sister who's like the slacker who doesn't really. Take I think it that would have made this story being Kagaragi and Rita focused hit a little harder because like it's both of them dealing with their sisters. Exactly. But I, also, I think the interesting thing about this episode is the dichotomy between Rita's situation and Kagaragi's situation, where Kagaragi's dealing with a sister, Rita's dealing with someone she has no fa- familial ties to. Kagaragi says, "You should, you should." Uh, be my successor and rita says you should not be my successor yes and there's this whole thing but then of course it flip-flops at the end because everyone gets what they really want at the end okay can we can we please talk about fucking gira and yanma as like babies (laughs) yeah so this is the second time that king oger took an idea that they already did and do it again but slightly differently a single amount of episodes later when the time skip happened, they were criminals for a few years, and then a couple episodes later, they made themselves criminals again as an excuse for what was happening. And then episode 43, we had them physically turning into children, and in this episode, we had them mentally turning into children. Because we couldn't get the oh. child actors back. Too many uh, rules about that. <laughs> they can only work one day a month. 
I, I like, just loved fucking. Oh, we'll get we'll get to that shortly. But I loved just Yanma just like pulling on like the Tombo part of the Oja Caliber. Just Tombo, Tombo, Tombo. Once again, the show shows us them shows them doing something with the Oja Caliber that I can't replicate in real life. Looking forward to that memorial one. False advertising, yeah. Toei. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Exactly. <laughs> But, but no, this, but this big... whole turning them into children was just a glorified excuse to get them out of the way uh, so we could focus on Rita and Kagaragi. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> literally. But, but, but it's a welcome thing. It was so yep. funny. And, and of course, we got we got big, big brother Raculis. Big bro Raculis. He was so <laughs> fucking good, man. It was adorable. Yeah, it was like, so honestly. good. This so show good. is reveling in their opportunities to give Masato Yano finally some breathing room to act like a complete goofy jackass and it's great like i was saying earlier i love this guy's okay. acting like i love when he's in the cage with uh suzume yeah <laughs> that's a sentence i just said <laughs> and like i love cage match he does this really really good acting thing that's the part where he, like he like pricks he's, his finger yeah apparently you didn't see the last episode but rackley's is being passed around the nations to do odd jobs for them as their like bottom bitch tool yeah Last week he was in the robo suit from the Gira Mark yeah, Two yeah, Fantasy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Robo's Husty. Robo is Husty. Oh my god! Like, that, that was made directly for Lane. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, and then, in no. this episode he's in Ishibana just like knitting sweaters for them or something. But but I was gonna say I love this bit like because like the whole thing is he cuts his finger and uh, Suzume gets all like lovey dovey. Oh, yeah. let me help you. But like the like Makoto's his name right? The actor. Uh, Masato. Masato, sorry. The way he reacted was so natural. Yeah. Like he's just, he's a very good actor. Like oh, yeah. He stands out. I just love the idea of, like, she tries to, like, take care of him because he's bleeding, and he and he just, like, stops her, like, no, it's my blood! It's royal blood! It's mine! Only I can have it! He, he starts, starts sucking, sucking his like, thumb. Yeah, but, like, what the hell is that? Like, <laughs> <laughs> also, like, also, also, I DNA. just really... I want I want Jeremy to read me a bedtime story to sleep. <laughs> like, oh my god! Like, I I can't say it enough, but like every time Jeremy's just in the the room or in a scene, he just owns it. He owns I'm, it so much. Jeremy's so so lovable. I I'm love this. I love so this guy. Sad that Emily's not here with us because I know she would be absolutely echoing that statement of "I want Jeremy I, to read me a bedtime I story." I need. I need. Whoops. I need audio books of children's <laughs> stories read by Jeremy. Like, like legit, that, guy, that guy has a good voice for it. Like honestly. Quick, yes. quick, think... quick, fandom, assault his TikTok. <laughs> Get yeah, him to read stories on TikTok. To TikTok. Like, what the... don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> we hear at Radio Sentai Cast Ranger. And, and if you do, do don't tell them we sent you. <laughs> We've almost destroyed Sentai really... on way too many occasions. Yeah. <laughs> also, also, I just love when, like, uh, Frickin' Himeno and, uh, and Yama, like, revert back to normal, and Jeremy's just fucking owning it. Like, they're like, they're like, what the fuck just happened? He's just like, oh, hi no, Like, that Although, smile. I love that smile he gives. Yeah, no, for sure. Speaking of, like, oh, the fandom's gonna eat this shit up, uh, the shot of Himeno crying with a pacifier in her mouth is gonna go so far for some people. Oh, that's why we Someone's made this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh no! Oh no, Eric! Really go I'm at it. <laughs> <laughs> you too. Uh, what's the answer? Uh, Aoto Watanabe. Yeah, I'm sure that was doing it for some people as well. Probably. I'm just, I'm just glad Yama's retainer didn't see him as a baby. <laughs> no, no, Yama is fulfilling boys' fantasies of just spamming a button and making the sound over and over again, I, which dumbo, is again dumbo, dumbo, dumbo. what I want the Memorial Oja Caliber to do. <laughs> Yep. Oh yeah, no, yeah. The, that re this really was a bit of a tonight on the writer's thinly veiled fetish. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, so Minangan shows up and uses his what I can only refer to as time lasers to turn them I into mean. children, <laughs> and that I is mean. the one moment that Dog Dead decides, "Eh, I'm bored." <laughs> and Minangan's like, "Look, I'm doing it. Are you not entertained?" <laughs> No. Yeah, no, like he's like he's trying to like call for Dag Dead and Dag's just, just like I, I don't even know what the fuck the guy's saying at the like time. Jesus fucking Christ. I know technically he's my father and he birthed me, but 
Well, no, oh, no, I wanted to, I wanted to bring that up. So apparently, <laughs> apparently he, apparently he didn't birth him. Apparently he like brought a dag dead from another point in time. That sounds like something he could do. Yeah. Yeah. Like, no, that's what apparently they did. Instead, because he has like time abilities. So apparently the apparently when he like birthed him, that was just him summoning him from another point in time. Yeah. That's interesting, so honestly. yeah. But for so all intents and purposes. So if Min, Min uh, what's the name, Minangan? Minangan. Yeah, so if, like, unless he gets killed, literally he could spawn infinite Dagdeads well, forever. the point of the end of the combat of this episode is, as they proved previously, attempting to kill Minangan just opens him up for him to spawn another Dagdead, which is why the end yeah. result of this episode is, oh, we shouldn't kill him, so let's just fucking seal him in ice forever. Yeah. Imagine imagine two Dagdeads. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Unless I'm Dagdead oh 1, God. and I'm Dagdead 2. Oh. Wait, oh my god, ahead. that just gave me that just gave me a huge brain blast. What if that's how they defeat him? They, they was... summon another dag dead and then Literally they both fight that. each other to the death. <laughs> yeah, like that might be it. They're like, we can't beat him, but you know who can? It's and, him. and it's like, it's... no, 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 I'm the real dag dead. No, I'm the real dag dead, and they kill it's... and they destroy each other. <laughs> it's dra no, it's just Dragon Ball Super when Goku wishes the king of the fucking universe to have another one of him to be his best buddy. Oh god. <laughs> God. Again, well, this ends. again that, that just he ends. didn't do that alternate reality. Oh. <laughs> Gar, the Michael Saltzman of the Cast Ranger podcast. <laughs> <laughs> That's a dropout reference. Uh, yeah. Okay, so yeah, we get all that, and then we get Rita and Kagaragi. Uh, they so if you really look into it, there's some consent issues to be addressed. Oh yeah. But so, but what basically happens is they talk about their backstories. Whoa, 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 whoa. How did they even get to that point, though? Suzume and Morphonia get hit by the time laser and they regress to their 10 year ago selves. But I just want to talk about one thing because it's kind of cute. Like, the laser's coming and Rackley's is like, no, I'm going to. I must take... defend my wife. Yeah, and so, like, selflessly. But then Suzume's like, no, I must defend my husband. It's yeah. Like, quality. <laughs> the power couple of Sentai. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're gonna take this thing by storm. And and when Suzume gets reverted, this is where we start again addressing something back from the single digit episodes of King Oger, where apparently her ten year ago self actually was planning to murder Rackley's. Remember when we first saw Suzume and the episode ended with her pulling out a katana? And we were like, oh, I guess she's planning to secretly murder Rackley's. No, yeah, that was actually a thing. <laughs> that was actually the plan. Kagaragi was working with Rackley's this whole time, but was also fully ready to literally stab him in the back at a moment's notice. And I, and I loved how, like, when they all came back with, like, after having been reverted to the minds of children, some of them, like how she was on top of uh, Rackley's with the knife again, and he's, like, sort of nonchalantly defending himself. The <laughs> funniest part of that is you, you see Suzume on top of Rackley's, but only, like, in like the left side of the the shot, yeah. and you see Gira and Jeremy and them just walk in, and they like, oh shit, did we walk in on something? Yeah, no, they they clearly frame that to look like, uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and and then like after Gira starts screaming out and summoning Kuwagon to murder everyone, right. Rackley's like overpowers her and it's like, ha ha, it's my turn to be on top. <laughs> oh shit. We're also not talking about the best joke in the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Like, back when Kagaragi got all burnt up. Yeah. And he sees, like, you know, he's with the ice. Yeah. And, like, he's holding on to ice. And he sees uh, Suzume and Rackley's. Rackley's being all lovey-dove. And he's like, I'm totally happy for my sister shatters the ice. <laughs> I'm not angry at all. <laughs> <laughs> my sister's going to have sex. <laughs> well, yeah, it's because he, it's because his plan was to kill Rackley's and then he didn't expect his sister to fall in love. That's not the kind of stabbing I wanted to happen. Oh, no. <laughs> you stab of love. Anyways. Yeah, so Rita and Kagaragi decide that while they're... I don't want to say retainers because Suzume is not Kakuragi's retainer. What's with this Kuroda erasure? Yeah, where what happened? Where is Kuroda? Was that was it was the actor fired? Like <laughs> does you don't you don't need they don't need the same yeah, actor. Like, you just bring another dude in the mask. No, Kuroda was dagged at the whole time. Oh <laughs> But no, so because they had changed their wants and desires over the course of the ten years before that and like you know the course of the show what they want and what they used to want are not the same 
So they decide that while they are regressed to their 10 year ago selves, they will free them from their current world, current timeline obligations and let them live the life that they think their retainers want. Yes. In that Kagaragi wants to let Suzume or Kagar Morphonia basically bails Gokan and goes to Tofu. And the idea is that Rita tells Kagaragi to let Morphonia mig officially migrate to Tofu and live the life she quote unquote wants, not being burdened with the responsibility of one day becoming the, the Supreme Justice. Of a frozen wasteland. Yeah. Living, li she wants to live a life in Tofu, the land of bounty and warmth, more importantly. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, with Suzume, uh, the idea was that before marrying Rackley's, it was intended for her to actually become Kagaragi, Kagaragi's successor. Which again, the dichotomy of, I want you to be my successor, I want you to not be my successor, yeah. is, is really interesting in this episode. Um, but also, a, a point they made on the chat, it was true. Retainer doesn't mean successor, those aren't going to be the same thing. Like, no. No, 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 because Duga is not next in no, line no, to yeah, be king exactly. of Shugatam. Or will he, because Duga might be best king. Yeah. Because he is the best. <laughs> well, although he, we didn't see him in this episode. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did okay. he recover from turning old? <laughs> yeah, oh, you know, is he still old? <laughs> Did he get <laughs> Sebastian for real? <laughs> yeah. Um, Shit. Yeah, there's a lot of mechanics at play in terms of, like, what they want and what the, and what the, what the kings want and what the followers want and then what they want depending on whether they've regressed or not. But it ends up where Rita and Kagaragi can't honestly communicate what they want but at the same time, we see that despite being very opposite, one being of law and one being of chaos, they understand each other better than they understand themselves because it's about not being honest with oneself, where Rita has to repress themselves to be neutral, to be the, the Supreme Justice, mm -hmm. and Kagaragi is so used to lying and deceiving and scheming that he even lies to himself. And it's, it's so interesting to see the similarities and differences of these two characters at play with each other at the same time. Yeah, no, and it's, was, it's some masterful writing. It's the heart of the episode, definitely. Uh, Rita and Kagaragi's, like, you know, the parallels and differences between them. Yeah. But what I really like is when they come together, it's like, it shows, like, all these characters, you know, like, they're, they all, they're all at odds with each other throughout the whole series, but yeah. they, they've been through the fire together. They're forged. Like, they're yeah. friends. They know each other. Yeah. Which I and like they, stuff like they that. Know, they're so different, but they know each other and they complement each other. And that is crystallized in the fact that their powers perfectly complement each other's abilities and weaknesses, where the final battle ends up with Rita using the freezing power on Minangan, but Kagaragi using his fire power to make sure Rita doesn't steal herself. For they are the princes that were promised, and theirs is the song of ice and fire. It's ice and fire! <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. And I, just, I was just I, here for big. I was I just, just here also, for big bro Rackley's the whole time. I just also love this like Minangan wandering through the Gokan, like ooh Chocho -cho, <laughs> butterfly, and then yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was funny. <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful. But in the end, yep. Kagaragi lets Suzume live her life being married to Rackley's, and Rita convinces Morphonia that she is destined for greatness to be the next Supreme Justice. And everyone moves on with their lives. Rita and Morphonia walk back into the palace. Suzume walks away from the palace. And Kagaragi's left standing there in the middle by himself awkwardly. <laughs> I, I was going to say, oh. it's like, 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 it's like Suzume's probably going to fly the bee home. And like, so I'm picturing Kagaragi like, how do I get home? <laughs> Guys? I got to walk. Oh, wait, no. We've established that you can apparently run between these continents. So like... They all travel back and forth so casually. Uh. Yep. He'll just catch a ride on a different shoe god. There's so fucking many of them. Yeah, at this point, yeah. Yeah, no, again, like I was saying, there's a... Um, the, okay, technically, the, the the plot of this episode was to... Um, I can't say his name. Uh, the, the bug general. Uh, Minangan? Minangan. Point was, like, the plot was he's off the yeah. table now. We're knocking off the jesters one by yeah, one. And, and so are they down to one now? The only ones left are Grody, which is next episode, Kamijim... And, oh, right. and dog dead. And I think Kamijin is going to be here till the end because he's been here since the beginning. I could fully, ex <laughs> I could fully see him being the only one to survive and get away. You know what I was going to actually say? Do you know who I think is going to fight uh, Kamijin? Hmm? Rackley's. 
That would be good. Because, like, again, that would be good. We saw, like, you know, he he's the only one who actually got one over Rackley's technically this whole he time. He was in disguise for 15 years. And, and like, I, I got the distinct impression that uh, Rackley's, like... Actually shit. cared about Boshamaro? Exactly. Yeah. So I could see, actually, him exactly. being... Exactly. <laughs> God damn it. But yeah, that would be good. So, yeah. So, yeah, next episode is going to be Jimeno and Jeremy versus Grody. And there was mention of curing disease. So I think what's going to happen is the power of Jimeno symbol will be the power to cure any disease. And she's going to cure Grody of his immortality. That'd be interesting. I'm, here, I'm thinking like, I'm assuming they're not all like element based then. Or... Well, I like hers is like flowers. And you know, flowers have medicinal properties. You can like grow up herbs and shit. We shall see what they do. That's what I think is it is. There was also that shot of her, like, summoning the even bigger fucking scythe coming out of her king's weapon. Yeah, yeah, that's true enough. Sorry, what that was cool. I just... So what did you do with the plant? I, I started feeding it. It's now a what? giant plant. What, a giant monster plant? No, it's, like, just bigger than your average plant. It's just Audrey. <laughs> just... <laughs> All right, so yes, very good. We're closing in on the end. Things are great. Point in the chat, actually. Um, uh, if the powers are meant to be destructive to their kingdom, though, what if what if Himeno's weapon is poison? That would be a good one, poison too. Poison is medicinal, to a degree. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. We shall see. Mm-hmm. Very oh, cool. Yeah. All right, feature topic time. Ooh, class is in session, boys. I fucking loved these last two episodes. Holy shit. They were very good. Right? <laughs> this was actually really nice television. I absolutely I did not see coming the twist with Black Cross Majin. I, I, so I will admit, I I watched these last night and like I worked a long shift and I was very tired and I had to watch these both back to back. So I was paying attention to the best of my ability. But from what I watched in the two episodes, they were really, really good. So yeah, now that Huga is on the good side, they have a replacement student council president, and I don't think they say his name at all in the episodes. <laughs> well, it doesn't it's matter, a, he's a douchebag. Uh, it, it's Geki Red. It's uh, Geki Red's actor. Oh, is it? What? <laughs> that was not Geki Red's actor. What? Geki Red's actor's in, in the final two episodes. I think he plays the principal's dad. I was about to say, that's what? not... That's, the guy cannot be that young. Oh. <laughs> Like, you're talking about the guy, like, with the hair, like, who, who's, like, all, like, Wait. yes, uh, I'm going to be the leader. The guy who becomes the new golden Majin. Oh, okay, no, then, then uh, I'm not who no. I was thinking. Wait. Maybe I'm, I, I'm confused. Let's just keep talking. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, apparently summer happened, so... Yeah, it's now second goes, term. There... <laughs> so what you're saying is, we don't have a High School Heroes summer movie that takes place between episodes six and seven. No beach episode? Boo. Rip. No beaches? <laughs> <laughs> no beaches. Somehow we ended up at the beach. Uh, yeah, so the idea is that the headmaster's kicking his plan into full action, where he's just straight up using the Majin app to hypnotize the student body into behaving and conforming. It, it reminded me of that episode of Simpsons where, um, like, the school got uniforms. Yeah. And they all just became, like, lifeless drones yep. and started blinking in unison. Yep. I love that story. <laughs> <laughs> one thing early in the episode that I really loved is there's this one bit where Taisei's got the fucking Go Ranger, like, cardboard sign on him. Yeah. And then he henshins. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is and fun. then later he unhenshins and the board's there again. And I'm like, oh, okay. No, we're just, we're just, <laughs> okay. Full hammer space rules. That's what I was going to say. This, this show, I, like, I really like how it's, one, it's tongue-in-cheek about a lot of things. Like, it knows the jokes. It knows how to play them perfectly. And then when it needs to be serious, it plays that perfectly. Yeah. Like, it's, it's a very well-made show. Oh, yeah. Honestly. And I, I especially like the part with the sign because, like, that that's something... You know, we all we often ask in any like like where do their clothes go in the henshin? Yeah, and this one apparently has told us it, it, it's Digimon Tamers rules where yeah, you, where they're naked inside the which, suit. Which fine, I can buy that. Which you, which you see because like sometimes it cuts to shots of them quote unquote inside the suit and you they're shirtless. 
Oh, yes. well, yeah, yeah bo- boy band. Yeah, G- gotta get those. Gotta get the women fan service. Gotta show you know, off those. Gotta give them <laughs> traps. Gotta show off those sexy, sexy collarbones. Dude, you'd be surprised. <laughs> I'm not gonna name names, <laughs> but I know, I know a woman who quote unquote's biggest wish is to be able to drink soup out of a guy's collarbone. <laughs> That's her thing. All right. <laughs> I'm leaving. But, Goodbye. <laughs> it would be so That's hilarious. That's not internet for me today. It'd be so hilarious though, as a joke, if like he henchened and like there's this like big square thing under the uh, suit. Oh. Like, oh, 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 one second, goes back, takes it off, and then does it again. <laughs> oh, oh, like can, can you imagine just? All right, time to transform. Hits the button. App needs to do update. Please reset your phone. Oh, no, son of a bitch. They did that when Taisei, like, got his memory back as Black Cross was fighting them in the club room, and he had to, like, he literally had to re-download the app. You see the meter on his phone. We were having yeah. fun with that. Like, he's like, why is this taking you so long? Oh, this school's Wi-Fi shit. Go on your data. Okay, it's for emergency. I have to go to a different menu to change the download what apps over Wi-Fi to allow over 3G. This is what we get for having our club in the fucking basement. <laughs> Signal down here is ass! <laughs> what year is it? Do you even have Wi Fi? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, G! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Um. So we go back to where we were. So they talk about how similar the Hero app and the Majin apps are, and this eventually leads us to find out that. The Hero app was made by Taisei's dad, and then the program was commandeered by who we eventually discover is the club advisor teacher, Amari, who twisted it into the Majin app and then did it in service to the headmaster. But like, wow, when they revealed that Amari was the Black Cross Majin and a villain just in general, that blew me away. And I, I, I didn't see that coming at all. And I'm honestly kind of surprised that the characters made that link because the only thing they found out in universe was that Taisei's dad and Amari were classmates. I was so, I was wondering for the longest time how making that connection leads to the logic leap of, Oh, Amari's clearly the black cross Majin. But then later in the second, in, in, in the in the eighth episode, they connected it by saying those two were the only people from 10 years ago who are still here yeah, like again like this was actually thought out well written and like i think we're kind of like combining the, these two episodes because like they, yeah. they were like two part it was a two-part yeah. finale basically yeah so yeah. we're probably gonna jump between both but yeah yeah i like i appreciated that like there was this like sorry there was this like you know little mystery to do in between the fighting in between the drama like just yeah. let's figure this out and exactly that like they they the part that didn't make sense was something there they was would a payoff expect. to it exactly well written. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I was gonna say, well, he's black, like, he's the black cross magic. Who could have seen that coming? Oh, right. All the fucking assholes who spoiled it when he was revealed to be common writer. <laughs> well, shit. Every, yeah. Everyone oh, wow. made those connections. And I'm like, thanks for spoiling the ending to High School Heroes. You probably didn't even watch it, you fuck. I'm so glad I didn't see a single one of those I tweets somehow. That. I'm glad I don't oh, use yeah. Twitter. Speaking of Revice, I can see why they got this guy to be in Revice. Like, holy shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and just to, so good. You know just to make the last joke, I'm not making this joke anymore once I actually do have my birthday. If I had a nickel for every time this actor has played a character who'd end up becoming a villain, I'd have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but surprising it's happened twice, right? <laughs> it was so funny, because, like, the first time they mentioned that Amari was classmates with Taisei's dad, it's like, that leads to the thought of like, oh, were you like a hero like he was trying to be? And my joke was like, oh yeah, pulls out the Death Stream driver. <laughs> and that was before they revealed that he was Black Cross Majin. And I'm like, oh no! <laughs> oh, but the funniest thing about these whole episodes is the discovery that all of these scenes where Aka Ranger shows up... Uh, Speaking of asking a question that gets answered immediately by the show, like, <laughs> we were talking about, like, so Aka Ranger showed up talking to, to Taisei, and, and and we were like, 
it's it's i was explaining to sell how like it's not really super clear if he's actually there or if taisei is just hallucinating him and then seconds later the mom addresses aka ranger directly and we're just like what <laughs> so hurt us he is real <laughs> Oh yeah, Ocar no. I'll Ocar Ranger, sit down. No, you can see him. Yeah, I just didn't want to say anything until now. I just choose to ignore him. I, <laughs> just... what, 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 what was killing me? What was killing me was like Taisei just kept like closing like the cupboard door, and then Ocar Ranger <laughs> just immediately opened it back uh, up. Like I'm not finished yet. No, that, whoever, Which, whoever, whoever, oh. who's ever, sorry, Gar. Who's ever playing uh, Aqua Ranger in that suit has really good comedic timing with, with, with the opening. Of, like, Every time oh, he yeah. opened that thing and he was just crouched sitting in there behind it, which tells me. Occasionally the music would start. Dun, 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 dun. They added him to the opening in the last episode, too. That's great. Sorry. Or go. no, it might have been the ending. Sorry, go ahead. It was the ending. Uh, I was just going to jokingly say it's like, what are the odds that Taisei hears Aqua Ranger, who's voiced by, of course, Tomokazu Seki? Yep. Yeah. And who also plays his dad? Who also plays Minon Gun. Yeah, Tomokazu Seki. Yeah, yeah, so it's like, it's sort of funny, like, like it's sort of like an emotional thing if you think about it, that when Taisei sees Aka Ranger, he hears his dad. Yeah. Oh, I didn't put that together. Oh. It's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's so good. And then we, they take it a, fur a step further where when Taisei gets knocked out by Black Cross, and like his gets his memories deleted. You watch Aka Ranger also get deleted. Oh my god! Yeah. Like full on Tony Stark. I don't feel good. Like, like, like it was so over the top dramatic, but still somehow kind of. Hard. I only exist because you love me. Ah! Yeah, he's like literally running at him to save him, and like, just, just disintegrates. So like, like what the hell? I want to add Aka Ranger to to the freaking Thanos snap now. Oh yeah. So. <laughs> Someone's got to do that, actually. Just hey, Thanos hey, snap and Aqua Ranger deleted. No, no, just like, you know, like, in fiction, occasionally you have characters, like, just, you know, pff, like, disappear into yeah. that. Just edit that to, like, all the scenes. Yeah. So it's like, like, you get, like, you get, like, Charles Xavier fucking exploding in, in, in Last Stand. You get Aqua Ranger exploding in this. Like, there's got to be more. It was it was also really sad that um so like Ty Safe feels like he has to like take on all this shit by himself. So he just goes down to the like the club where all the other ones are. He's like, Oh, by the way, I'm just spanning the club. Anyways, okay, it was nice to you on you guys. Okay, bye and like everyone's just like, That's not him saying that. Yeah. Well it, <laughs> oh, it, it, actually, it actually speaks back to what I was saying in King Oger. It's like, you know, these guys have been through it together, they know each other. They're like, No, no, yeah. it's not He's not serious. He thinks he needs to do this on his own. Yeah. Why they let him go is anyone's guess. Yeah, that. <laughs> I I, well, well, I understand that it's have the subplot. <laughs> it, it served yeah, the narrative, the but like, if if this was really happening, they wouldn't have let him get away. Yeah. No, it reminds me of that uh, oh, oh. rich joke uh, where it's just like it's like no, he needs to do this on his own. Help me for the love of God! Help me. <laughs> <laughs> like a hero. <laughs> Like uh, we let him. We let him fight him alone. It, yeah, it's kind of our thing. <laughs> He's kind of protagonist. Also, also, Hana, Hana has a crush on Yusuke. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's been a thing. It's just, it's cute. Like, they just haven't like, done it in the finale. It. It's just her brother's like, holy shit, you like him, don't you? I like, no. I like that. I like that they do the confession letter, and so like they, uh, he. Uh, she like tries to like present it to him, but then like the the, the bullies come out and they're just like, oh, confession letter, and then they rip Romance it in half. Romance is and illegal. Just, <laughs> no. And yeah, and then like Yusuke immediately goes, I don't know what was in that letter, but it upset Hana. I will not accept this. And I was just like, yeah. And here we have the unfortunate trope of the smart character being dense as fuck. Mm -hmm. Yup. The letter had a fucking heart on it, you stupid asshole. Also, isn't that just like a thing in Japan? <laughs> she wanted you to be here by yourself. EG, he's got even... brain smart, not heart smart. No, I know. That's the thing. <laughs> I, also, I also loved when like they ripped the letter in half. Just Green immediately comes up like, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> like I helped my sister write that plan. letter. <laughs> yeah, you're like, you're not ruining this plan. <laughs> I need this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need this gratification. <laughs> Wait, 
But yeah, I so love though. It's like like fix <laughs> fix your guys' hairs. That's not uh, that's not proper. Says the guy in the yellow shirt who isn't who also has like not. I was not gonna say hair. the main character's hair is not much different, and they're also wearing less of the uniform, right? It's anime logic. Everyone is a background character except for the main characters. Yeah, yeah I would love. It. I would love to see Taisei get fucking possessed by Momotaro. Oh God! <laughs> Just become Deno. I feel like he's got that Momotaro's energy. Oh, yeah. He does. I would. Love if he wasn't that. a part of Johnny's, I could see him becoming like a, an actual Red Ranger one day. I just want to see him be Deno. That'd be sick. <laughs> so, so I think we should talk about one of the two major, major points of the, of these two things. One being the fight mm. between uh, Taisei and Black Cross. Yeah. Holy crap! <laughs> okay, first off, the design of the Black Cross Majin is fucking gorgeous. Love it. Love everything <laughs> about it. it. Like it looks like a. I was saying this as a joke. It looks like a fucking Elden Ring villain. Like. I, I got like yeah. another I got like another Ryder Ixa vibes off of it, especially and the crossface. I love the crossface, and I loved how like the the use of the bell tolls. I was gonna say that I wrote on my notes, Black Cross Bellaport. Like every time he did, and like it, it was like ooh, like the sound just reverberated yeah. through you. It's like I, they did I, Geats I, before Geats. <laughs> He, he he gave me like a Japanese Shredder vibe. Like yeah, I know yeah, Shredder yeah. is from Japan, but yeah, I mean like this is like. Like you give this to like Toei or like Trigger or the something. Anime like, hey, we're doing a Ninja Turtle thing. Give us a shredder. This is like a religion shredder. And I love that he had. I loved his sword. It looked like a sword right out of Dragon Quest. Yeah, no, that thing was huge. Loved it. And the fucking <laughs> nail in the chest. That design. Oh, yeah, they yeah. all have that. Do they? Yeah, no. I was saying like I, I wasn't was sure like, they did. That was like the uh, the the th the link between yeah. all the monsters. Yeah, oh, so they do. The unifying design. Oh, they do. The pin in the heart, which that's a fun one. Yeah. Um, another really, really interesting artistic choice this show did when they flashed back to Taisei's dad talking to Amari. The show, the episode itself, changed to a four by three aspect yeah, ratio. Yeah, that was cool. And I think the I quality of the video and audio reduced a little bit as well. That was great. Like it really made you like well, one. Like it, it, it's like it, it's a great way of showing. Okay, we're in the past, and two, it's another just great tongue in cheek. Like, yeah. oh, is that what it used to be? I, However, for I me, the, the part that I was like, oh my god, that is such good visual storytelling. Mm -hmm. When they have their little fight, we see uh, like what's his name, the red guy. Sorry, Taisei. 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 We see him like he's like swinging his sword, and there's a shot where they go through some flowers. Oh right? yeah, while they're and, and they doing the hologram of the past. Yeah, and then oh, no, no, when the fight happens. When the fight happens, that's what I mean. And then we find out this motherfucker can take you. He, reality is his bitch. Yeah, he can do whatever he wants. Takes us back in time, and we see like Taisei look down. Those flowers are back to normal. Yeah, like that was so cool, masterful. <laughs> The, the fact that, like, you see his dad fall off the cliff, he he reaches for him and just his hand, like, oh, yeah. digitizes for it. It's like, it's a memory, man. It already happened. And, like, yep. while, yes, that scene of his dad dying is tragic and sad, it it's kind of deflated a little when we look over the edge of the cliff and see, oh, very unfortunate. He landed on the one rock. Right on his head. <laughs> like, like, yeah, like, his head. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure he would have been, like, you know, it would have been comfortable falling, but that was, like, 12 feet. Like, he, he could have survived that survived. if he didn't hit his head on the one rock. On the one boulder. <laughs> like, <laughs> just like, oh, damn. He's like, damn, rolled in that one on that acrobatics <laughs> thing. And, and it was actually... The, the, head, the, head, the headmaster's just like, I planned, I, I used my blast specifically and with complete measurements so he would hit his head on that rock. <laughs> no, 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 just, he looks down. Oh, fucking finally. You know, this took me like 30 fucking tries. <laughs> he was like undoing it with the black cross powers. <laughs> yeah, just right. just do it. No, damn it, take 36. <laughs> I was gonna say too, because no, no, like... No. <laughs> it's just he looks down, face, in the, face into the crowd. Oh, I really hurt. I oh, can't. <laughs> I, I tried 30 different versions of killing your father. A, a, a 29, a, a 29, and a 30. He all survived. I don't know why I gave him the Skeletor voice. I'm going with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It honestly kind of works. I, I was going to say, too, like, there, it was funny because also in a flashback, we saw the dad and the teacher when they were kids, right? Yeah. And yeah. It, was, it was great because 
It's like, oh no, it's my spirit animal up there. When they're like, didn't you want to be a hero? No, I wanted to be the villain. I always loved the Black Cross <laughs> Fuhrer. Oh. <laughs> oh, you're one of those kids. Uh oh. <laughs> Well, yeah, he brings he brings up a good point where it's just like not everyone watches shit for the heroes. Sometimes you watch it for the villains, I mean, you know, like Star yeah. Wars. Or, or, you know, in uh, Samurai Flamenco, the very first villain, freaking um, oh, what was his name? The common writer homage guy. Oh, I don't remember. Oh. But basically, like, you go into his room and he has all the figures of the villains. He's like, oh, I loved them as a kid. That's why I wanted to be. It's like... Right, right. I sort of... I, I like how Japan does this, where it's like, it's not always, yeah, root for the heroes. Sometimes it's like, no, I want to see the bad guy win. Yeah, that's why I like Revenge of the Sith so much, because the bad guys won. <laughs> it's awesome. So anyway... Or, you know, like Transformers. Decepticons. So you know how we mentioned we didn't get a beach episode? Well, we kind of get a beach episode <laughs> on the, like the, the the most overcast day in Japan ever. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I lo I love that it that the beach wasn't empty. You see yeah, people there are just walking actual people by. walking around in the back, and they're so far out that they're just blurry enough that they don't have to sign waivers. And like, not just that, like people were straight up wakeboarding. Like, <laughs> this was this was a busy day at the beach. Yeah, like, <laughs> they didn't book it off. I I love you can clearly tell when like um. Jin Hero? G, G Hero? Gin Hero. So, the silver one. Yuga. Yeah, Gin Hero and uh, Golden Mask, when they're running, you can clearly see someone on the beach turn their head and be like, the fuck am I looking at? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The, 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 this had the a big... What is going on? This had, this had all the charm of something they shot in, like, two hours. Like, yeah. like we're, we don't have time. We gotta, like, get... The but shots. here's the thing that, that just infuriates me. <laughs> so they set up this whole fucking quiz show bullshit like they're on American Gladiators or... Or, or no, whatever the fuck that show is where you run across shit and fall down. Wipeout. Wipeout, that's oh, it. Wipeout. Ninja Warrior. So they, they, yeah, they set up this whole Wipeout setup where there's an X and an O, and I guess behind one of them is the, the mat of safety and one of them is the mud pit of failure. But they set all this up before deciding what the question they were going to ask was, and then just pull a question out of their ass. Oh, uh, true or false, the, the defense club has five members. And anyone with an inch of brain power knows immediately where this is going. No, they don't have five. They have six. But, like, they had already set up which was the correct answer before deciding the question. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> Gee, it's like if these high schoolers are a bunch of fucking delinquent assholes. And, and again, this speaks to just, like, the, the sense of humor this show seems to have, because it's like, yeah, we were in the middle of a serious fight here, like, and now it's like, <laughs> cut to this quiz show bullcrap. fucking, like, a uh, play day, like, a school, like, game, like. <laughs> and then, so, so the golden Majin runs through the, the circle one thing, yeah, there's five of them, and he falls in, like, the mud, meaning he, he lost, and then he just, like, rolls out of it, oh! Defeated and then fucking explodes. The most, the most violent explosion. Like it's, it's like, dude, you I, I mean, mud. Take it easy, that, that, dude. That's up there with some of the best Go Ranger deaths. Just here, have this. Oh, an egg. <laughs> it was beaten later on, but we'll yeah, get he to egg that. exploded. <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> oh, did you all forget the Kamen Rider X and the exploding chicken? <laughs> My favorite thing ever. <laughs> Oh, one, of, one, of my, one of my favorite scenes was like the headmaster's like walking into the school or something and just everyone's like good morning he's like ohio 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 <laughs> <laughs> and then just taisei goes up to him and he's just like he's just like i know what you're fucking about man i'm gonna we're gonna fucking fuck you up and, and, and he's just like kindly go fuck yourself go to your studies young man <laughs> yeah and we, we learned that Grow up. we learned that this this whole thing with turning all the students into obedient conformists <clears throat> is just a testing ground because he doesn't want to be just principal of the whole school. He wants to be principal of all of Japan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Japan. That was your joke. It was. I was, like, I was like, I'm the prime minister. About, that's what he wants. <laughs> yep. He yeah. wants to run it like a school. <laughs> that sounds like a nice. That sounds like a fun anime. Headmaster. Entire title. countries. <laughs> entire, entire countries, countries of school. school? Yeah, the entire country is a school. 
Jeez. Oh, dang and run for kill a kill. <laughs> kill so a kill is the oh, answer. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> In like different different areas and cities are like different clubs, so like Akihabara would just be the anime club. Yeah, <laughs> kill a kill. Yeah, that's just kill a kill. Yeah. Yeah, but, uh, so Black Cross defeats Taisei at the end of episode seven, and then uses the uh, Monica traditional family weakness of rock to the head <laughs> to defeat Taisei. <laughs> it works every time. Oh. Oh. Good old rock. Nothing beats that. <laughs> Rock beats head. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing so hard at that, but it's like, yeah. <laughs> he used the same trick twice. Like <laughs> father, like son. I know, without their heads, they're powerless. I knew my teeth. I'll, I'll, rock, paper, I'll just, do, I'll just do, I'll, I'll just do a Jim West style. I'll just bash him with a rock. <laughs> Gordon, you don't want to do that. Oh, but I do. Oh, don't I? <laughs> So episode eight opens. <laughs> episode eight opens with Taisei having lost his memories, has become just a studious little normal student boy. It's literally <laughs> the plot of Card Captors when Sakura lost the battle and lost her memories. Yep, <laughs> this is what happened. <laughs> You did not just say Sakura. Come that's, on. That's, that's, how they they they, the that's how they it's pronounced Sakura. it. We, you know it's Sakura. I know it's Sakura. I know it's Sakura in the uh, in the original. That's but, how you pronounce it. That's how the name is pronounced, but the dub chose to pronounce it Sakura. Because uh. one cultured swine. Mm -hmm. Jelly donuts. What are you looking at, you hockey puck? <laughs> Anyways, so yeah. Uh, just, <laughs> Taisei, do you remember the Go Rangers? Go Rangers. Is that, is, that, is that that Power Ranger stuff? No, I'm not into that. Being a hero? <laughs> Cringe! <Yeah. laughs> the, most Listen, 20, I don't know what... the most 2023 line ever. <laughs> remember being a superhero? Dude, I'm not into your My Hero Academia fan club. <laughs> <all right. laughs> I don't like anime. It's so interesting <laughs> that like they chose to erase his memories of being a hero... And like everything he did over the course of the show, but leave intact the memory that he watched Go Ranger, the thing that spawned everything else. I guess it couldn't go too far back because they, he even says in the show, like, because his mom tries to get him to remember too. Yeah, and by feeding him nothing but red food, which was a pretty hilarious <laughs> shot, like from above, like just like what, so many tomatoes. Like, I, I think they didn't want to erase Go Ranger from his memory because, like, a uh, you know how long it would take him to watch all eighty four episodes in one movie true. of Go Ranger. <laughs> when I was gonna say, he even says like, "Oh yeah, mom, I like Go Ranger, but I don't want to be." It's not my whole identity. Yeah, mom, like I'm not feel like I'm some weird loser. <laughs> Right at the camera. Talk, okay, okay, spends okay. Every I, I feel personally night. attacked right now. <laughs> it's like I'm some loser who spends every Friday night talking with people on the internet about Go Ranger. What kind of dumbass would do that? <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, so, we start to see the headmaster reaching towards <laughs> the higher up people in society, like political figures, including the minister of Mext. Uh, ed the character name is Mitsu Ishitaro, and I immediately realized this was someone familiar, and I looked it up. Uh, that's Kiryu Silver. That's pretty fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was looking for, I'm like, who is he? And I look at your notes. Oh, it's Kiryu Silver. Wait, that's Torin? No, it's the first one. Oh, no, no, it's the second one. Oh. It's Daigo's dad. Daigo's <laughs> dad. Oh, wow. But yeah, Mex, education, cultural, sport, science, and technology. I don't know where the X comes from. It's probably a typo in the fan sense. Science. Where's the e, e, M cool. come in for that? Education. No, the M. Oh, oh, oh uh, no, a ministry. Ministry. Oh, okay, my bad. Yeah. Ministry yeah. of Education, cool. Science, and Technology. <laughs> you know what it should have been? To get the X, X is silent. Good one, Jerry. <laughs> no, no, you know what it should have been? It should have been instead of a culture sport, the X would be for extreme sport. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about that extra yeah uh, so the the other members of the team managed to happen across the same connection between Taisei's dad and Amari by way of the librarian being angry that Taisei bent a page corner in the student records you're not supposed to do that <laughs> and that's how they like no. they get down there and they answer the questions you were having 
yeah, they, they come on, to like, the same leap of logic that, oh, because Taisei's dad was classmates with Amari, that must mean he's the Black Cross Majin. And that still didn't make sense to me until they paused, they, they clarified by saying they're the only, like, there's no one else who was here ten years ago who's here now. Other than so, the headmaster and the teacher. Yeah, so who else could it be? Exactly. So, you know, again. Because the Black Cross Majin has been a thing as far as ten years back. I love that Taisei's mom went up to the headmaster and be like, I want my son back. It's she like, went full well, mom. Oh, yeah. But, like, you know, clubs should be over. He should be home by now. Oh, no, no. Don't, don't, don't give me that shit, you son of a bitch. As confrontational, son. as confrontational as she was being, the joke I was making while we were watching it was like, watch, watch his mom henching into, like, the Purple Ranger or something. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. <laughs> And then the, the way that scene ended, my, my, my preceding thought was, I guess you don't need the app when you got that slap. She went for it, just full on. <laughs> so it reminds me of in Cobra Kai with uh, Dan Daniel's wife going up to, uh, uh, I can't remember his name, main bad guy from the first movie. Chris. It's just like, you, yeah, Chris, just, you stay you stay away from those kids. And then he went to the police station and filed a warrant against her. Well, I mean, you're not allowed to hit anybody. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> they hit you. But yeah, so, uh, so Black Cross attacks everyone else in the, the club room, and Hana calls out in terror, and Taisei, with his, even without his memory, still has the instincts of not just being a hero, but, you know, being a good person in general. Exactly. And, uh, and, and leaps to their aid. And we get this Are like in danger. I'll be right back. <laughs> Let me run. <laughs> and we go like it, it's actually kind of neat because we have this um like the fight in the in the club room is actually kind of well done. I felt like they kinda, destroy the place, especially for how like close quarters it is. Yeah, you know? I was fully expecting them to like let's take this outside like every Toku ever has done. <laughs> yeah, but no, they they wanted to go for something a little more. They throw that room around, tight, like you know, like. <laughs> They knew the show was over. Let's go to the <laughs> Let's trash the set! Yeah, let's get this one. And let's like, crack this egg. They even like stomp on figures and shit, and it's just like, No! The collectibles! It's no longer collectible. Oh, oh, oh no, Th th that hurt me. Like, yeah, oh. I bet. <laughs> they beheaded Aka Ranger! I just picture Yugar like um, the guy in Mean Girls when she breaks the tiara, just... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, like... Like, I, I like to, because this was the part where he comes back and, like, you know, his team has been, like, they got the shit kicked out of them, right? Yeah. And now and he, he was to, about to fucking drop the memory erasing fireball on them. Yeah. And, and like, but, but he, the, this, this is where he got his memory back? Yeah. Because it was the hero app. Yeah. And that, that is all, yeah. And the whole, like, oh, you need to download the yeah. app. But it established that, like, the, the Majin app has the ability to erase people's memories. So they have the hero app as a cure for that. So they, they, which they proved by way of Taisei, literally re-downloading the hero app on his phone as Black Cross is standing and, in front of him. And he says the single most heartening line ever directed at, like, our kind of people. Don't underestimate some geek's fantasy. That's words to live by. <laughs> yep. I want that written on a shirt. That would make a good shirt. And I will say, like, the henshin we got of Akihiro at that moment, fucking beautiful. All they needed to build oh, was a sparkly the background behind shot. it, and it would have been a perfect stock engine. But then you know how they made it perfect? By giving us the completely superfluous and and an unneeded ass close-up. <laughs> Did Joel Schumacher direct this scene, or what? <laughs> Gratuitous was the word I was trying to find. <laughs> Gratuitous ass close-up. Lane, I love the close-up ass shots of Batman and Robin, so that was not <laughs> that was not a detriment, me saying that Joel Schumacher Bat directed nipples. that part. Yes. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Never leave home without him. <laughs> My bat nipples? Yeah. <laughs> Never leave the cave without it. <laughs> well, Superman works alone. And so we have further proof that Aka Ranger is a physical existence by way of the team up fight of Aka Hero and Aka Ranger yeah. versus Black Cross. That was cool. That, that was, was cool. Close. I love when they uh, did their like their poses and they actually like they they complement each other. Yeah. Like they're basically mirrored yeah. to some degree. Yeah. And, and then we get a few seconds of what we can only describe as POV. You're getting your ass beat by two Red Rangers. They're whooping me! <laughs> it's like I'm really getting my ass whooped! It was at this point that they did the thing where that now we're going outside. Yeah. Now that the plot has happened. Yeah. We can go to the quarry. We need room for actual acrobatics and not just trashing our set we're not using anymore. 
So did, did we? We didn't talk. Did we talk about? Or did, did it happen here where he where he uh, redeemed himself? Was that this? Uh, it was later. Yeah, this is where he redeemed himself. Like after fighting. Uh, it was after the fight. After like fighting we're talking the about reds. the teacher, right? Right now, at this yeah. point, yeah, yeah, they're still the fight, fighting Amari as Black Cross. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. But they, we eventually discover as they're fighting, Headmaster shows up and reveals he was actually the one who attacked Taisei as a child and finished off Taisei's dad. And, and it's like, it's also like, it's a little harder to keep track of, but as he said, like, you can warp reality and yeah. time and perspective, I guess, as well. Yeah. Which, as we see later. But, uh, the, like, yeah, so I like, it, it was a bit of a setup and. It's a little, it's a little, like, racing to the end, I felt, there, but, yeah. like, the redemption of the teacher himself, I felt, was handled really well. Yeah. Like, it, they did the whole thing about, like, he gives them the whole speech, you know, teachers are supposed to protect the students and yeah. all this. And it, again, once again, feels like something that was echoed in his plot in a revise. <laughs> There's only, like, four yep. plots in, in Sentai, isn't there? Yeah. <laughs> My yeah. favorite thing about the Headmaster taking over Black Cross and, be and transforming is... He was holding that fucking umbrella, and then when he henchens into Black Cross, the umbrella disappears along with his clothes. <laughs> In the same way Taisei had made the cardboard disappear. And hammer space. <laughs> well, speaking of which, he teleports them away. It's like, oh, what are we going to do? Hey, look, bikes. But I don't have one, guys. I guys. While, while we were watching the opening of the, sh of the episodes, we were looking at those shots in the opening of them riding the bikes, and I was like... I don't know if we've ever actually seen them use these in the show. And then, and then they use them. As they're running out, not morphed, yeah. we see the bikes. Yeah. And we had this, are they going to do it? And they did it exactly. Although like, it was slightly different because Hyuga stole the bike that Yusuke would have used. So he's just <laughs> caught behind running on foot. Well, he was, even in the intro, isn't he running on foot? Is he? I don't remember. I think he's, someone's pushing in the intro where they're all suited up. and I, Maybe. It, and it looks like they were like, but, remaking but they like they highlight it more in this in episode version yeah, yeah. where like everyone bikes off without him and yusuke is like uh fuck and then more bombs start going off no, behind that, him that was hilarious just like, it's <laughs> like keep going <laughs> you know you know what it's like it's like in a like ninja turtles like arcade games if you're not moving the bombs the, the level comes up behind you <laughs> yeah like <laughs> yeah uh and then, and then we get the most what the fuck moment of the entire series where the headmaster turns himself into a giant kaiju. And it was the best thing ever, yeah. because he does it off screen, like, he just does his, like, magic thing, and we cut to each one of the characters starting to look up, and <laughs> me and Ichi were like, they he's, didn't. He's, he's turned himself giant, isn't he? <laughs> Is he a giant, and then giant principal? <laughs> not even, he's not even in a monster form. He's just... Giant principle, <laughs> completely like hands down at rest at his sides, in the clothes he was wearing. Not more evil, just himself, but fucking giant. It was straight up dead dead. Like, yeah. like, <laughs> and the funniest thing is, there's no recognition of this happening by anyone else in the show. Yeah, after. it never happens again. Like, like it's just... not on the news or anything. No one knows that this happened. The principal of the high school became a giant today. Like. <laughs> Everyone saw because he was fifty feet tall. <laughs> I, I saw this happen. I'm like, are they gonna pull Megazords out of nowhere? That's what I thought they were gonna do. It's like, are they gonna fight this? I guy? was so disappointed that we didn't get a fucking Megazord fight to close the show. And, and, and I just like thinking, like, oh, oh, the head. Go ahead. Oh, oh just oh, of course they wouldn't have a Megazord. It's a Go Ranger themed like homage. Go Ranger didn't have a mech. I know, but did Go Ranger have a giant monster? No, well, didn't. this one did, <laughs> and I was just thinking, like, I don't know the actor's name who played the headmaster, but I like, I wonder if this guy, like, you know, because he's an older guy, like, you think when he was a little boy, if <laughs> this he, maybe is, this he, is saw, where he saw his career going, like, not even that, like, he was watching Godzilla movies or something <laughs> as a child, and it was, like, I want to do that, and he, I want to stop through Tokyo, and he did, <laughs> good for him. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah. no, instead of Godzilla, he got to be War Greymon by throwing literal fucking Terra Force. Oh my god, that was the best, where he's just full on, <laughs> all right, bored by this fire. <laughs> Giant principal flame! <laughs> and then Amari just shows up, henchins in a black cross, and tanks it. And it was, thing and it was badass, like, yeah. honestly. Like, I love the way he's, like, just absorbing it with his energy. Yep. And when the when the force dissipates and, like, it causes him to, like, demorph. Yeah, right? yeah. We were like, okay, this is it, he's dead. 
No, 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 no. I think I'm okay. <laughs> I feel better. Yeah. <laughs> and that's his redemption. No, no, and Tyson gave, gave him the, like, you know, his little speech about, no, you're a good teacher. Yeah. And, you know, you just, you fell away for a little. Also, he was manipulating <laughs> memories in reality. Yeah, so it's not really your fault. <laughs> You, you, you passed me in all, in all my classes I was failing. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to you, I can graduate. <laughs> so, where were we? Uh, uh, oh, I so guess the final fight. The final fight, we get a helmetless roll call which after was, the henshin. Which was fun. Although I was like, so like, they do the henshin, which is cool. They do the helmetless roll call, which is cool. And I'm like, all right, shouldn't the helmets go on by now? <laughs> but no, we get a full fight sequence of them fighting without their helmets, and it isn't until the headmaster shows up that he they put on their actual helmets. Yeah, fight. like, it was obviously like, hey, let's give the actors, like, a moment to shine in the costumes and stuff. Oh, uh, it reminds me of, of a, the other fight that happened, or I think in the last episode, where you and I were kind of impressed by how it was executed because it was like one shot. Was that the first? There was one. It was in the warehouse. I forget which episode it was in, but there was one. Oh, like, oh, oh it was episode on... seven. Yeah. It was one long, ongoing warehouse fight. And it was one really well done. Shot. Like, especially because like, one, it was done in one take and like the choreography was, it was pretty good for the most part, but I really liked how there was like levels to the fight. Like, they yeah. were on, like, scaffolding and stuff, so there's yeah. just a lot going on in that fight. Yeah. I, just wanted to I think you spotted attention. the cameraman's shadow. Eh, it'll happen. I was like, oh, no, that's just another mook. Yeah. I just wanted to bring that up because that was a fun fight. Yeah. So, sorry, back to this fight. Yeah. Um, although, like, the fight where they didn't have helmets, it was a little deflated because of the one moment where Taisei headbutts a that dude was, and was, experiences actual pain. That was pretty funny. <laughs> it was like, oh, shit, I forgot. <laughs> right, right, right. Nobody wins Splash. in a headbutt. No yeah. one wins in a headbutt. Yep. Yeah. Um, and then we get we get some very interesting weapon play. They use their weapons pretty interestingly. Oh yeah, they they like they went full like Avengers, like yeah. where they're like literally bouncing their weapons off each other, and, like comboing. And yeah. Shit. Oh, we got the fucking coolest <laughs> shot ever at the very beginning of the fight where the headmaster in the the black cross form fucking flies in. Oh yeah. Like, he just like really cool the, wire work. The wire work was on point. And I was like, yeah, an Elden Ring villain. Like, <laughs> Dodge this, you filthy <laughs> casuals! It's yeah, and then it takes I away like, all your health. <laughs> I like that uh, Hugo charges up his attack, and like when Taisei goes in for the slash, he punches his arm to like give it the extra speed, like extra force it needed. Yeah, Hugo powers his fist, which pu punches into Taisei's elbow, which then propels his fist, which is holding the s the rapier. <laughs> Avengers, who? Ah, uh, yes, the double fist stab. <laughs> classic <laughs> although that brings up with something i wanted to mention up until now like most of the team have unique weapons except for yellow because his quote-unquote weapon is his physical strength because he's like the, the rough fighter of the group i was really disappointed to see that hyuga as gin hero didn't have a weapon also you know what i mean yeah they ran yeah <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't in the budget yeah his weapon was just his Magic fist cuts. specifically. Yeah. But uh, other than that, Gin Hero was super cool. I like that. And then they finish off the final villain with the High School Heroes Final Hurricane, which again was mostly not impressive until the final bit where they all kicked the football together. Yeah, that was like early really... oh, because they were like, if we all kick in unison, it'll it'll work. Yeah. Everything before that was just theatric preamble they were a team yeah and it, it was like it looked like something out of Shaolin soccer honestly yeah. like <laughs> and uh yeah they, they 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 beat him and it's actually neat because like he he gets you know they beat him yeah but he's not dead yet yeah and then taisei gives another heroic you know, speech you're not you're not a bad person we we all we just we all make mistakes it's like it's nice and the nice. principal responds by blowing himself up with his own app. By blowing himself <laughs> the fuck up. He says, Pure light, beautiful! Japan. Wow. Man, like, not everything is solved with suicide. <laughs> <laughs> like, literally, like, they give this whole big speech to him, but, like, you know, and he says, like, no, I, I just want to uh, it's erase. About the, having freedom. I want to ha erase the memories so that that way no one is upset about. Like, was that his whole point? It was about like removing negativity, 
and like hard times and anger and, and negative feelings so that people can be pure and, and proper and, and good citizens. But you know, they the, the, the main characters tout like having bad experiences is part of life. It was it's what makes us stronger. Oh, and we should have the freedom to experience that. Yeah, it's it's like <laughs> Lane, it's like in Star Trek Five. Bones, damn it, you know more better than anyone that pain is something to take away the magic point of a wand. I want my pain. <laughs> which, which is sort of funny because uh, this morning at work my boss was like uh, basically I was saying oh it's my birthday this week and uh, he was like oh, how old are you turning 19 I'm like I wish I was still 19 or I wish I was 19 again I could fix my life all up and all that jazz and he's like I feel like if we all did that we'd all be billionaires and it'd be boring <laughs> yeah what's life but like, misery yeah yeah, it, 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 that just led us to talk about how, like, yeah, we sort of just live with the mistakes that we have and just gotta move forward. Yeah, I mean, yep, that's good a good lesson. Yeah, no, like I was gonna say, the show, like, it, it has that. It has these I, neat ideas of, like, you know, self care and self acceptance, like, in a big way in a, mm-hmm. a couple other episodes. Like, I've only seen three episodes of this. These two and the one where uh, we met uh, Momo Ranger. Yeah. Like, where they came out as trans. Okay. And, Chica, yeah. and, and it's like, yeah, like, the show, like, like I was saying, the show handles the Sentai aspect really well. It's got it's got a great sense of humor. The fighting is excellent. Yeah. Like, I was like, I, I hope these guys get a proper Sentai series, these showrunners. You know? Like, I know it's all oh, toy, uh, the, but, like... Uh, the, the writer of the show was uh, Yuya Takahashi. He's... Oh, he, he did they've done the a lot. Last oh, common writer. Oh, okay, yeah, there you go. yeah, he's like known for being common writer. And I, I think the suit actors are like with Toei. Yeah, no, that those are probably just their stock, like you know. Yeah. But I was yeah. gonna say, like, it also gets like the uh, the emotional stuff down really well. Like the the acting, I found to be pretty well well done for the show as well. Like the characters, all like you know. Again, I've only seen three episodes, but I'm like, I get these characters. Like, they're archetypes for sure. They're yeah. all playing into that role so well. Yeah, but. I think that actually made it look even better at the very end. I'll get to that when we get to that. So, like, uh, but yeah, Buddy blows himself up. <laughs> Long story short, <laughs> after accepting that youth might not be so bad, like, I don't. Why did he do it? I just want nothing to do with it. Goodbye. I, you know what? You know what? Okay. <laughs> you know what? He's like, you know what? Yeah, the, the future's gonna be fine now. I can see that. I still want nothing to do with you, damn millennials. Bye. <laughs> now, I would say that the best villains are the ones who'd rather die than be saved by the hero. Oh yeah, yeah. Those are always. And on a high mm-hmm. note. <laughs> or, or you can do that last minute uh, save, a la Death Rock. Oh yeah. Again, okay, well, mm-hmm. like, and then have someone else murder you. Yeah, <laughs> isn't that always the way? <laughs> I'm gonna have a lot to say about Death Rock when we talk about King Oger total. Oh yeah. So. But, uh, yeah, so Hugo gets to be student council president again, and he's much less of a stick in the mud. Uh, and then we cut to a scene that I describe as, now mom is dating Aka Ranger. That's what's happening. <laughs> it's this weird, weird, really weird, uh, like, fetish of dating your son's imaginary friend. <laughs> That's kind of what's happening. It's literally what's happening. Not even kind of. Like, <laughs> it's like, it's got too much Mr. Mime energy for my life. But... <laughs> I mean, to be fair... It's voiced by the guy who plays his dad. No, no, I know, I know. Like, that's what attracted him. Yeah. And I'm guessing no, in no. the show, they're just friends. <laughs> now, now I'm just picturing Taisei biking home from biking home from school and Ock Ranger's just like sweeping the driveway or something. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> also, I didn't mention it, but like the scene where they have dinner, I just love that like Ock Ranger, you see is so, somehow he's just like sipping tea through his helmet. <laughs> it's imagination. <laughs> I, I was just picturing him like coming home, like it, like it's like early in the morning, and Tyson's just eating cereal, and Aka Ranger just walks by, like like kind of naked, like he's got underwear. His on. suits ruffled. No, 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 suits off, but helmet and <laughs> helmet <laughs> yeah, <laughs> still on. <laughs> I was just thinking that too. The helmet's on, but it's just full on human body with underwear on. Jerry in our chat, the suit stays on during sex. <laughs> you know, for some people, man, that's that's what it's all about. That's the true final attack. <laughs> mm-hmm. We've all seen that picture in that hotel room with uh, Green and Pink Ranger. (laughs) We all all know what I'm talking about. Uh, So they cut to the the team sitting on the beach talking about doing a a stage show for the the 
the festival at their school, which is a fun idea. Well, wasn't it before they were, like, saying, like, they were in class, and, like, this was sort of, like, the falling action of it all, where it's like, hey, yeah, like, the threat's over, but we're all still friends, even though yeah. we're all, like, completely different, and, like, you know, like, the, I believe, the six, what's his name, the Sixth H- Ranger? Huga. Huga, like, he's trying to be all, like, Sixth ranger yeah. stoic, and they're like, come on, you're coming You're with- one of us, hey. you Asshole. You're one of the lovable misfits. Yeah. Get over it. Boo-boo <laughs> gobble and all that. <laughs> they, they go to the beach to discuss some things. It's still the most overcast day in J- Japanese it's history. just as windy. Yeah. And uh, they have a, they, this is a nice little moment at, to end it all off where like they're like, hey, let's take a picture of us all doing the pose. Yeah. Right? And they like, we're going to like tie... Who was the one on the very far right? Like, was that... Blue or green? Uh, green. The wacky one. Was. Green. It was green. He was doing like the most pose. extra ass fucking jump pose. Yeah, like he was going for it, that guy. And yeah. uh, you know, it's nice. They take the picture, and then and they start saying, "Oh, then sh-. then they realize, oh shit, I had the backlight on." Like, then they start arguing, "What should we do?" And then the weirdest, best joke ever. We just cut to like a wider shot from higher up, like a bird's eye, like a crane shot. Yeah. Like, we, like I'm sure it was a drone or something. And what happens? Just, just out of nowhere, unprompted, Ocarina's just, just bolting it across just the runs beach. runs right across the beach. Like, like, and H.E., you were right. That almost felt like it was setting up that he was going to, like, photobomb them. Or yeah, it, sh- it should have been like they looked at the photo and it's just like, what's that red streak in the background? And then Tyson's like, <gasps> he is real. <laughs> <laughs> just like they cut from his gasping face to the credits. Dun, da, 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 da. That would have been so good. <laughs> It's like, now we have to investigate this! <laughs> Sequel. <laughs> but, uh, that's High School Heroes. Yeah. And then we get, we get this neat little post credit scene in the club room, and it shows the, the five Go Rangers, and then there's this, like, silver little figure standing next to it, and I have no idea what that is. <laughs> yeah, but Gar, like, what yeah. was that? Oh, oh, oh it's, a lo- it's a little fan-made thing that they did. Oh, okay. I, so, I get so that it was so to symbolize you guys. Them. Yeah, I, knew, I get yeah. it was to symbolize Hugo, but I didn't know if it was, like, an actual suit of something that pre-existed. <laughs> Oh, no, no. And yeah, I, I, I love the little photo that they took together. Yeah. And, yeah. and now let let the Johnny Agency bury this show because we're never going to hear from it again. Probably. I love this show. It was really, really good. I'm so happy we watched it. It, it was uh, not what I was expecting and in all the best possible ways, honestly. Yeah. I, I liked it. I think just for me, Very it was charming. just. I didn't like it. each episode was like forty-seven minutes. It, it, it <laughs> was it a bit much. Like Thirty at least. <laughs> How many episodes was this? Eight. So, I feel like Eight. this could have been like sixteen, like half hours. It, yeah. did, it didn't need to be forty. Twenties, <laughs> I should say. Yeah, and it, like, you know me, I'm the blue guy, but even I have to admit, too much blue on the suits. A little too much blue. My biggest problem with the suits is genuinely I have a hard time telling them apart. It's not obvious which is which. That, that's my From problem. certain angles, absolutely. Like, especially in crowd shots. My yeah. Like, doesn't help that they all have blue ties. <laughs> well, their ties are their color. Wait, is it? Look, thought... look at the wallpaper. Oh, right. What am I... Their helmets and their blazers are all the, the same yeah, color. I just caught my eye wrong. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's the blazer that screws everyone up. Yeah, it's too shiny. Plus, the Pink Ranger absolutely just has a dick on their helmet visor. <laughs> There's no way around that. It's supposed to be a pen, but that's... Well, the pen is mightier. Yeah, the penis mightier than the sword. Exactly. <laughs> but yeah, overall, really great. Added to the pantheon of Sentai-adjacent shows that are just as good. I would, I would recommend, if you are a fan of Sentai, I think this is a good enough love letter and doing its own thing well enough. Yeah. That's worth checking out. Yes. And I've already, again, I've only seen three episodes. This is this will always be my answer to those that ask, where is Shin Go Ranger? <laughs> it kind of is. It kind of is. Yeah. That's a good. That's a good yeah. way to look at it. Like again, like you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna be feeling more than you'd expect with this one. I think. Yeah. Hmm. About, it's about now I finding it, your, it's your weird hero. It, it's weird to say. I kind of want to see what Takahashi would do with like an official Super Sentai show. Mm-hmm. One thing that I was thinking about as it was ending, like the way Amari chose to just like leave at the end, I was like, and he was talking about like, oh, maybe I can become a hero someday. My immediate thought was, Amari become Kuro hero. Oh yeah, that would have been the neat. Black Ranger because mm-hmm. awesome. he was Black Cross. 
I was gonna say like the, 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 that that was a little funny that he's leaving because well at the end of the story if the mentor's alive they leave that that's why this is happening and you were like I'm leaving because I have nothing else to teach you <laughs> that's literally the, like what it felt like they were gonna do yeah. also uh, I asked you this Ichi you weren't able to tell me Gar have they ever done a mm -hmm. Sentai where the mentor became the villain Die Ranger yeah oh, okay okay I figured it, uh, if they had it would have been when yeah, I hadn't yeah. watched. Yeah, yeah, their mentor was like by the end was revealed to be like a member of the organization that they were fighting. Oh, yeah. so like what this did he turn good at the end like this one or spoilers for Die Ranger? I, guess? I believe he sacrificed himself. Oh, okay. But but he did fight the team. Neat. So that is kind of like this. Thing. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Yeah. I was thinking that's just an interesting dynamic you usually don't see a lot of the yeah. time. So that'd be interesting mm -hmm. to do again at some point. Very cool. All right. Well, um, that is going to be the end of Cast Ranger, unless you had something else to say, Gar. Uh, just to quickly say, the show is a bit hard to find because none of the major fan sub groups subbed it. But please hunt it down. And I will never, ever, ever say you are a pirate, tra la Dolly Day. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't be a pirate. And uh, I, I'm glad to have the Blu-ray Raws so that I can get nice high-def screenshots from the show. Nice. Yeah. Do you, you know what's going to be the most lasting thing for me with the show, though? That fucking song. Like, that just... That, ba -da -ba -da -ba 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 that tickles oh. every part of my music, right? That, 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 so that is from the Go Ranger OST. Oh, no, oh is it? Although, like, the one time I think they misused it was they played that song during that one-take warehouse fight. Oh, yeah, that was a little weird. <laughs> this is fitting. That's not right, really fight music, but all right. <laughs> no, whatever. But, yeah, uh, the and... ending theme is a fucking jam and a half. I love the ending theme. I wish there was a full version. A there music. isn't? Damn it! A lot of good no, music, there guys. isn't. One, two, three, four, five, six, let's go to oh, high school heroes. Oh, and I like to, at the end of the, the last episode, the headmaster was also getting in on the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there was that one shot where Ranger leans out of the cupboard. Yeah. Again, the comedic <laughs> timing of that guy. Anyway. And, and I, know in the op I know in the opening, they're trying to... Like, they say it properly once, but just, like, they're trying to say euphoria, but they keep saying euphoria, but then they do say <laughs> euphoria properly. And they're like, euphoria! Euphoria! And I'm you like, guys. Euphoria. Ask your doctor. <laughs> but then they say, Euphoria! And I'm like, oh, you got it that time. <laughs> that was cute. All right. Well, I think we can call the episode there. We're coming up on two and a half uh, hours. Oh, well, so sorry about that. Just, I like high school heroes. Yeah. Thank you very much for introducing uh, us to us. I think no, news no. and talking about that popcorn bucket was the biggest, longest oh, yeah, part of the episode. Back to that now, huh? yeah. <laughs> what will you put in the in the sandworm's anus mouth? Well, I'm thinking, post in the comments. I'm thinking about cutting a hole in the bottom of the bucket, <laughs> and we'll go from there. Ah, oh, Chinese finger mm. trap. Mm -hmm. It's my dick in a worm. <laughs> dick in a worm. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, can, can I do the Jikai? Sure. Alrighty. So, Jikai, Radio Sentai, Cast Ranger. Well, we just finished off one mini series. Time to jump into another one. D don't Yay. worry. Don't worry. It's 20 episodes. Uh, not 20 episodes. <laughs> they're 20 They're 20 minute episodes. Because they oh, fuck they you. <laughs> We're watching all 20 episodes next week. Is that what I'm thinking it is? We're talking, we're finally getting around to it. Dojengers. Yeah! I've been yeah. wanting to watch that. What is Dojengers? We're, 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 I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I'm, well, simple, simple, simply put, local heroes. Oh, okay. We're finally diving into the concept of fan made tokusatsu heroes for companies indie that centers. got to get. Yeah, imagine indie tokusatsu show. Oh no. Imagine Avengers on $20 budget. <laughs> I just look at that title and my brain just goes dog engers <laughs> am I making this 
That main one looks like a dog. I thought it was. That's what I thought the first time. These guys' suits look dope. Yeah. Actually, yeah, these look cool. This is fan Especially made. The, the, the red. Yo. And, and the best, best thing, they're real characters from real companies. Cool. But yeah, it's going to be episodes one and two of Joe Ginger. Yep. Interesting. All right. First off, I would like to give an absolute gigantic high school heroes level shout out to our currently active patrons which of course include blaze armor hide sentai vt midas vegas and jackaplier thank you very much for supporting what we do you guys are great and of course the primary source of our hijinks is castranger.podbean.com from there you can find our facebook twitter patreon discord server our merch store all of our cool shit thank you all for joining us let us know what you thought of these episodes in the comments below. Let us know what you would like to talk, what you would like us to talk about in the future, in the comments, and we will see you next week. Goodbye. So long. Stay high schools.